I ask you a question? Why you don't never play with my nipples? I got nipples too. It's my turn to get tied up. Not them handcuffs though. I got PTSD. Welcome to Heart of Soul, where men speak. So hopefully somebody will understand. Just, you know what gets me tight about you? Everything. I could be like most things. I'm like, yo, bro, if you go left, listen, you're going to crash. They're going to slash your tires. You're going to run out of gas. And I don't think you come back from that. I bet, bro. So we should go right, right? Facts. All right. I'm going to see you, though. I'm going to go left. Because <laughs> like that, that shit kind of sound interesting. Like, you're kind of curious about what... Like you know? Yeah. Because yeah, you when you said that to me... somebody don't climb the tree, what they're going to want to do? Yeah. Climb they climb the, the fucking tree. Then, you hear that? You heard and that? Then you got to know where the message is coming from. You heard that? True. And then there's also somebody don't climb the tree, too. it makes them want to climb the tree. Well, you know it. recording, right? Oh, if you, no, listen, if I you fall off the tree, that's on you. I hope you got insurance. I don't fall. This tree don't bend, don't break. Pause. I can handle the car. I can handle that tree. I was talking to her. We were talking to you. I just don't even want to hear it. How you gonna pause and talking to a woman? Don't bend. But why are you listening? That's, that's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's nuts. Especially when it's curved. Oh. Right. oh, by the way, I don't know if I told you. I got my dick back. Got your dick Ooh. back. Oh. Dick back. Don't call it a comeback. I don't, don't know if you, you knew, comeback. but I was smoking vape. I was smoking way too much vape, and my shit was only getting. It halfway was kind of giving you. Really? I was only getting halfway hard. Yeah. That's something that they don't talk about that much, but it definitely can yeah. lead to the dysfunction. Yeah. yeah mm-hmm. I was I was having problems in action. Mm. They starting to see to that show up, that up neck. In, in younger guys more now. You, you, you do what? They starting to see that show up in younger guys more. What? Erectile like erectile dysfunction, dysfunction and they're discovering the that like the type of activities they get into. They because of all these fucking them. drugs that these motherfuckers is doing, all this drinking and this lack they of activity. They the drugs. They be doing drug cocktails and yeah, shit. Yeah, word. Like, like, one drug ain't enough. This one nigga told me he chased, he chased lean with brandy. Wait, wait, nigga, what the fuck? <laughs> that shit sounds kind of fire. Somebody said that to me about um, Molly, like they would activate it with alcohol. And I'm like, bro, that should make your mouth dry. I'm you, like, I, if you take shrooms and you smoke weed at the same time, it's perfect. Now, the sh- now shrooms is the only thing I've not had. <laughs> what? Look, look, look. Can you get some water? No. I have some here. I Do you not learn? Okay. If I, am I, cause I'm driving. Am I safe to drive? And, no. No. Right. Absolutely. So yes. Yeah. No. You so, did shrooms before. Yeah, I'm not going. Don't worry. You did shrooms before. But, but, yeah. But listen. Um, we one day, time. Yeah, one yeah, day, yeah, yeah. Yo, let's do one day. ladies. I'm down for it. So and whatever the fuck happens, happens. Oh, ladies, I got a question for y'all. <laughs> so I see how Tyler said he got his dick back, right? Yeah. I mean that like, he lost his. Have y'all ever lost y'all pussy before? Like, has your pussy just like stop you know, getting wet on him? Yeah, like maybe like yo, this shit just not function like it should. Like, have you ever well, had like a put or a drought or something? Well, yeah, one time. What happened? It was after childbirth, though. What's wrong with what you? What do you mean you lost your pussy? You lost I your pussy? I mean that, like, I had no interest. I was, it was after I had my son, I was like, fuck this shit. I don't want nothing coming up in here. After that shit came out, I was like, no, thank you. But mm-hmm. then I used CBD lube, and then I felt like Maxwell and fucking Jill Scott and everything <laughs> I do. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was like, never met pussy just like this. And then she came back. She came back. But for it was like. The lube? It literally is the, woke. Your so pussy the up? CBD, I was kind of apprehensive about the shit because I'm like, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I sell a lot of shit, but when certain shit come out in the price, I'm like, who the fuck need lube for th- for fifty dollars? Word. But at that point, I was like, I'll try anything. Want to try anything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I use the CBD lube. You gotta kind of put it in like ten minutes before. Mm. But once you put it in, the CBD starts relaxing your your pelvic floor. She starts feeling more sensitive and sensual. So everything wow. like that area was like mad sensitive. Mm. So anything that was happening was just taking Inhale. me to like a you know, ooh, ooh, yeah, wee. and then and then what I found out is because the right, tip of girl. his dick was coming into contact with it, mm. it was sensitizing his head, mm. so everything just felt like niggas was, you know. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting hard. I just nutted. I'm getting hard. Next thing I know, I'm just dead. Like, oh, she back. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he start fucking back. She back. I remember bad boys who were in the show. Tell tell what wifey. I got an erection. <laughs> I am <laughs> on <laughs> the way. <laughs> but yeah, but it was like three months that I was not interested. Mentally, in. what, like mentally as well? Or? It was that, but it was like, my pelvic floor was tired of shit. It was just like, fuck all, everything. I never even think y'all can like, have issues. Yeah, like that. that shit was ejecting dicks. It was like, dick, get out of here. What? Nah, sure. Sure, you I, get I had, That's how I felt like I've it had sex with a woman recently who pussy hadn't been touched in a long time. And it was she was like a virgin again. It was oh. like so it would not open up, bro. No matter what I did to it, it would not. Open. I I wound up just going to get one of the dildos, the glass joints, mm. and just playing with it with that. And because it's so rigid, 
and it's not as thick. Part of me, I hear you. But cool. you know what I'm saying? It was able to work it and open it, and mm. but then after I a while, she started nothing off that. So yeah. dilators? I, yeah, they have. There's something for that. They have things like you start with a little, smaller one, you work your way up. Cause like I got naturally a very Go ahead, come on, talk about it. Pussy tight. Go ahead, talk about it. Pussy tight. Pussy tight. No, like, yeah, like, I don't think I realize it. Like, sometimes when I, I learned it when I was like, you know, even simple shit, like, you know, TMI-ish, but like, when I'm using, like, suppositories and stuff, like, it be pushing the shit back out my pussy. My pelvic floor is strong. So. It's got sea So, I think mentally, because my head wasn't feeling it, as soon as the dick would come, it'd be like, like, you know how you used to put the the, the tape cassette in? Mm -hmm. And you see it come back out? That's how you check it. <laughs> nope. so. But, like, but, but clit stimulation, I still <clears throat> appreciated it. So, that was kind of, like, my go-to for a little while. I suck a little dick. You lick a little clit. Mm -hmm. And that's how we got through the period. But that shit was rough. So, wait, let me ask you real oh, quick ahead. before you go. Have you ever had a guy that lost his dick? No. All right, now. Their dick is always ready and available for you. Let's go yeah, now. Yo, a lot of women can't say I that. I believe you because of how your eyes opened up. She said, mm -mm, she said, no. she said, she said, she said, can't relate. Mm -mm. <laughs> can't relate. So, I, so, so then, boom, let me ask you a different question. Last week. Last week. I believe was last week. We were speaking about, maybe it was the week before, I'm not sure. But so we were yeah, speaking so about so. if a guy lost his dick, would you be mad if he put a strap on? I've had that happen. No. You wouldn't be mad. No. You wouldn't be, but like you wouldn't look at him as strange. I mean, if you we talk about it first, obviously, because no. consent, even that, you have to consent to that too. Yeah, so. of course. If you talk about it, because I told, listen, matter of fact, I got a video. Oh my God. <laughs> we start Yo, early. Bro. We come in bro, here early. Bro, bro, <laughs> Swinging. Bro. The answer is no. You're gonna ask us, are we all okay and ready to do this video? I'm letting you know I'm not okay. Mm -hmm. I don't give consent for you to play this I video. I like it. I had one guy who used to come quick and he couldn't stay up long enough to continue to please me. So he used to use a strap on after he would get his, like, so he would please me with his dick first so once he came. Continue. And then to continue to keep, yeah, he put a strap on on. And I was fine with that. I'm going to put now. To, now I get to, to select my dick. To the people who are, who are new <laughs> dick here. Dick options is crazy. To the people who are new here, we're about to watch a video here on set. It's not going to be here in the YouTube. But if you go to the new episode discussion part of our Discord, I'm putting that video in there right now. Yes, you sir. You can get to the Discord by joining our Patreon at www.patreon.com backslash the hard or soft show. And then you can see the video that I am putting in the Discord right now. Okay. So, oh we're talking boy. about getting the strap. We're talking about pleasure. Right? right Melly, do we have sound on the television right no. now? Yeah, they're scratching. You always, that's, that's your thing right there. No, so I'm not okay. When I'm stressed, yeah. I'll be okay. like, I'm not okay. <laughs> let me see. Let me. Because I just feel like nobody cares when I'm not okay. Like, I say I'm not okay. He's like, okay, let's keep continue. That's let me okay. see. Why are you not okay? Yeah, why is he not okay? It's because it's what? him. Oh, okay, it's not that bad. There's no strap in this. Is it not? Oh. Really is the sound one? Oh, I want that. Oh, no. no. So that's a chin strap. Oh, My boy yeah. killing it. Look at him. Oh. Look at the strokes. Look at the strokes. All right. We're going to play it one more time. Can mm -hmm. somebody narrate this for me? Kasha? Uh, okay. Here. Yeah. Enchantress. Oh, yeah. Can you please tell us what's going on? Before we start, tell me what do you see? Well, what I see right now is mouth to pussy. That's mm -hmm. the first thing. What what kind of caught me off guard is what, you, what I'm going to describe to you because you think you're just watching some nigga just tongue down <laughs> pussy, like, you know what I'm saying? And then it's boom, this surprise comes out. Big black yeah. surprise just it is. sneaks out. It is. Penetrating deep. It is. Let's go. Go ahead and hit play. Oh, yes. So he's got a big, gigantic, black, juicy dick strapped to his chin that's hitting her G-spot while he's spitting and slipping up all her pussy juices. And, oh, yeah, I can tell she's appreciating that shit. I'm appreciating it, and I'm not even there. But then the tongue comes out, and he starts going to bat on that clitoral hood while she's getting that dick inside her at the same time. I got to tell you something. Oh, oh. He spit it back on. You see him spit it back on there? <laughs> Oh, the pussy juicy, but he said he's gonna make it juicier. He's gonna right, right back on it. Just, oh, yeah. 
I, I want to take this time to point out that the, the landscape is properly maintained. She keep a pussy nice and, you know, it's important. Oh. Oh. How did we get here? I'm on the right side of the couch. You sure. How do you put this on, Dizzy? Is it like the... <laughs> nigga, you just put that shit like a you Cuban gotta, necklace, nigga. You kind of wanted to come. Well, he had it. Under you look his like chin. Dick Man. <laughs> I think that's what I feel it like is. this was the strap you needed most because it looked like it was tighter, like coming around back. Yeah. That's for the, is that for the neck? Oh, it went in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be scared now, nigga. It's a little too late for that. I, got, I need direction. For is this. that a chin strap? Right. Yeah. I thought that it, was. It could be a multiple. It looked like it could do more than just a chin. Um. Does it, it feel uncomfortable? It probably might need this one to, to be on, on the, the top. top of your head. Yeah. So one on the I top and one on the... It's like a fucking N95. I'm going to straighten it out for you. Don't let it go in my mouth, please. When we, when we do the shrooms, bring this. Right? right? <laughs> Wait, I'm trying to get it straight because your dick is kind of tilted. <laughs> is, is it leaning Can to the left? Me? Oh, yeah, it's leaning. He got a curve to it, it to me? Mm-mm. Let me wait a second. Oh my. Oh my God. I'm already work this shit. <laughs> 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 Look at this. 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 Not the whole episode. This, for right now. This gonna, portion. You gonna demonstrate something? Would you not use this on a woman? Did you hear her moaning? Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. I'll fuck with this. You would use it? <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> see, see how you feel about this? It's good you see that? Book. He was like this on that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. My eyes definitely got a like, little wide. No, no, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Ever since he strapped it on, I just keep staring. I can't even take my. And why my mouth won't close? Mm. He was me. eating the shit out that shit too. He was. Long. And when he did that, that little nigga spit, spit back on. The spit bounced jumping. back. He said, nah, I'm going to spit it? back, nigga. He said, the shit said. It came back to his mouth and he projected it back You ever seen LeBron throw the ball off the backboard and dunk it? You got to stop doing that. You're not going to just look at me and just do dick ups. What are you doing? Are you doing dick You doing dick aesthetics? Like It's got a nice, like for it to be, you know, it's got a nice firmness. It's going to get in there. But it's going to have a curve to hit where you need it to. I love it. I like it. I love it. One of you talking about you would not use a strap. This is strap. That's, that's this strap fine, bro. It's thick enough for it to add real girth. That's cool. You know what I'm saying? It's Ooh. bigger than fingers. It's a good Ooh. length to hit the, the area we the need area to hit. Need to <coughs> and you're giving head at the same time. Come on. So, yeah, a chin strap, I, I get. I'm just not putting a strap to substitute my dick. I'm just not doing it. This is, it this is, is substitution. substitution. This is substitution. I mean, I can't stroke and lick at the same time, so that's right. cool. I'm just talking about, we were, I'm talking about putting a strap around your waist, like young like, and made. Once your dick, like, is, once your dick oh, is done God. with you, you know, you done came and you're finished. Now you strap and it's not really. I don't got those issues. I'm sorry. Okay, you don't right. nut? Not. Oh, I can make it last. <laughs> Forever. Forever. <laughs> <laughs> not as long as she can. Why not? Be multi orgasmic. Women can come. We can come going. and just keep going. Keep we don't going. need. We don't have a. Oh yeah. Okay. Period. That's cool. But I could hold it. Bro, stop. I could hold just it. Stop. Come on. I could hold it. You never had pussy so good that. Not often. Met once in a blue moon. It was a blue moon like two weeks ago, but. <laughs> oh, so once in a blue moon, but it was just two weeks ago. No, nah, no. Nah, you know? I've only. I don't really encounter too many pussies. It's probably pro- Not that often. At Bobby the end I, of the day, is it don't even have to be because you can't function. It be. It could be because what is she, like, she wants a double pe- double penetration. penetration. Yo, yeah. that's listen, yeah, you know. that's cool yeah. and all. But if I don't want to use a strap, I'm not using a strap. I'm just so what if so okay. What if your partner asked for it, like it was a request? So like I said, a tr- that is as far as I will go. You but put I'm a dick on your chin. Would you rather you would sh- put would a dick you- on your chin? I would do that. You'd say I put a dick on my chin. I would put a, a dick strap on <laughs> my head. <laughs> so if she was specific about where Because if she goes. was into DP yeah. Would you rather her and Involve another person Or you wouldn't be willing To give her the second dick and I literally it? said That if she asks for a strap I'm gonna find her second boyfriend I oh. literally said that Go ahead cool. Okay Yeah you, you, you know what Cool you're, and, you're, and all of a sudden You're way more um, Secure than I am oh, Yeah it's Cool Because I thought I had it With the dick on my chin 
That's cool. But you actually having another nigga dick on, you know, her chin on another nigga dick is, is not that bad. That's a very whatever interesting fl- Whatever floats thing, your boat. You know what I mean? Yeah. Whatever floats your boat. T. That's the truth, yes. You're asking what if she requested? Yeah. You've had enough sex in your life, I'm assuming, being that you are the head of the limitless Lux lifestyle brand. <laughs> I would think that you, you know, kind of know what you're doing. Had some wild experiences. Has anybody, <laughs> what's the wildest thing somebody's requested of you? Something that you was like, ooh, okay, I never did that before. But Can you take the strap off the screen? <laughs> oh, you need to get these up. Please, is that okay? <laughs> Can we just go back to where schedule? Because your oh. angle is perfectly viewed at Yeah, yeah I'm just like, like, like just the, the shit came out of nowhere. Pussy, I don't know. I'm like, at least it ain't no strap. He said, really? I'm like, oh, shit. That's what I was saying. I thought it was just a regular pussy eating Shit came out like the boogeyman. As soon as he went like that, it was like, oh. Yeah, it caught me off guard. Yeah. Yeah. In a good way. I can't say that I have anything that's wild. Nobody ever tried to put their foot in your pussy? No. Fist in your butthole? No. So what's the wildest? See, look, this is what I'm talking about. You're not going to hit me with those eyes either. Yeah, like, you want to know. You know her and her eyes. And yeah. I don't know Why she... y'all all be saying that? What about face it? Anybody ask you? I get that request a lot, Do you? actually. Because you got the right... Yeah. Yeah. Tools. Tools. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have a video. <laughs> King, I am video. tired of you and your fucking videos. I have a video. I don't want to see it. No, wait. Shoot, this is a good video. <laughs> All right, no wait. Let me again. Put it in the he's he's gonna drop this Let in the Discord, ladies and gentlemen. Videos are just like ready to go. Wait. Like this is gonna be a day. I'm yeah, gonna listen, use this, and I'm for, ready for you guys to see this live while we're recording, where you can enjoy the laughs and see the videos. You got to be a member of the Patreon, please, mm-hmm. ladies and gentlemen. Mm-hmm. Put some pennies on the spectrum. It's Come on to Patreon. I promise you, it is worth your it's wildest. Worth it. Just dreams. for the community alone, it's for the worth community. it. The Discord but never the sleeps. Mm-hmm. Tahoe in these videos. Mm-hmm. I be disturbed as shit. It's it's worth it. Now, this video, <laughs> the video was is actually it's about to be. Let me see right here. Let me put it right now. I know you be watching some nasty shit because you I got that privacy um thing over your you screen. You know it. You know it. You, watch it. you ever watch porn on the shit. train? I gotta be careful whenever I open my phone. Oh anywhere. yeah. This is some shit. Oh, so, you like Wee. this one clearly. Oh, oh. yes. You turn it up. What are we watching, uh, T? Give me, give me. Oh, I do not give the play my play for this. No, I'll uh-huh. give it. All right. Here we have a wolf in his natural habitat. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm seeing is I'm seeing a young man, dreadlock braided kind of guy, sitting on a bed, laying on the bed, laying on the bed, mm-hmm. face up. With a young lady sitting on his face with what the, one of the cutest petite perky butts I've seen in a minute. She got a nice arch. And there's some kind of abstract. The face is in strapped this. to the ass. It is. What is that? The face is strapped to an ass. His face is harnessed, strapped to her ass. So he cannot escape. He can't run. He can't move. Mm-hmm. He looks yeah. really like he is uncomfortable, it looks but like loving one of it at those the same harnesses, time. But sh- like they may have, yeah. you know how you have the body harness that we use for like over our lingerie. Yeah, they just put it that looks like there. one of those, and they just strapped it around his head to keep his face fastened. It the- looks like the shit Batman be using to go from building to building. I want to take oh her shirt off. Oh my god! It, it looked like I think she was just coming. Was she just coming? Can we put the volume up and rewind this? Niggas, I want to hear the volume. I heard the mm, T, you are like right in the end, right? I'm trying to be. <laughs> The only thing Oh she's coming mm-hmm. Oh yeah She said mm, oh, Yeah But the fuck. thing is I just ooh, my, I want the top off Took the top yeah. off the Maybach Yeah, yeah. It would have changed The visual for me Like mm-hmm. Yeah word So what I see When I look at this Right Is a guy Okay Y'all are into this And his eyes is It's closed. the way she moans I love it. Yeah her word moan. I know she just let it off I knew she just let off A good moan. one Damn <laughs> Now Okay what I see in this is a guy that is immobilized. He can't move. He's strapped to her butthole, mm-hmm. pussy area, with a, a vagina Fire. area, vulva area. Fire. And I said, yo, this is intense. But I've seen more intense. And I actually have a video. <laughs> <laughs> Take us there. Take yo, us to the We now. are really 106 in Park. Now, <laughs> T said that she gets a lot of requests. Kasha, do you get requests? Hell yeah, I get requests yeah. for this. It's a fetish. Like, what if people like what they like? Some people like it as a form of 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 um. Well, some of my subs like it for sure. For, sure. for some, it's what membership if? and stuff like that. Yeah, some of them like it as a reward. Like, if they did a good mm-hmm. job, they want me to reward them with sitting what on their face. If? What if you two just this just. 
fantasy for right now, right? We're just in a, what if you two were lovers and the guy asked you both to sit on his face? I don't know if he had enough face for all of that. Like, <laughs> Well, somebody out there does. <laughs> Let's go to the video tape. We about to look at the like Are we about to see, see Petite Girl? Oh, oh Jesus. <laughs> what are we seeing? I don't even know. What? I don't even see his head. His face direction changed twice. You saw this one. He... She is beating the shit out of his face, ain't she? Uh huh. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Push. One ass is forcing the face into the other ass, and they both some big asses. This is a lot of juicy. What, what's on there? I hope it's cream, Melly. Um, Melly, I hope it's their cream. I don't think it's their cream. I don't know. Like it, clay. It like a like be... a like some type of lo lotion or edible something or. Mm. Yeah, there's some. So what do we look? What did we see just now? Y'all want to see it's it again? Possible. We just seen a double Melly, homicide. Turn it down just a little bit. So that we can get. A, I just um, saw. I think we just had a the, double type of DP going on. This is a yeah. whole other type of. What we're seeing is a man laying on his stomach, and he's being smothered, beaten to death, smothered by smothered two asses, two by very two big women, asses two. B really. I would say BBW. Yeah. yeah. BBW. Yeah. They are crushing this man as a unit, bouncing off his ship. You hear that? Listen. Oh, that is his neck. That oh, is his cheeks. Oh. Uh, slapping up inside that man's well, face. He's getting a face massage. Mm. I want to know what the safe signal is. Okay. Oh. How could he communicate? That's, that's what, what my that's too. what my thing is. I'm wondering, like, how do he let them know I can't, I can't breathe, breathe because she or something got in my eye and it's burning. I would watch this though. Luna's immobilized. Are you okay? <laughs> I've actually seen something like that. Happened to me before. It looked like an Oreo. Remind me the time having? I got robbed and a nigga hit me in the back of the head, then somebody smacked me in the front. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally all. That, literally what happens. Literally. And I was painful. He wasn't expecting Not gonna that. lie. Um, <laughs> that was intense. I never even thought about that in my wildest imagination. I think about a lot of shit. Mm -hmm. That was Would interesting. You yeah, I'm, that's fire. I, that has do that. What What about that made it fire for you? I don't even fucking know. It was just all the action. You know what it is? I'm real big. Like I don't know. It's something about being in dominated. Look at that. I was a about submissive to say, my dominant position. Side crazy watching that. It's like being like in a submissive position, but not one, but two women. I don't know. I mean, I don't know if he's satisfying them. I I don't really know how that goes, but it's just fire. It's something about. You can't move. You know what I'm saying? Like you just surrounded by ass, my nigga. It's like fight or die. You know, like are you fight or flight. Are you typically dominant in your in your yeah. interactions? Mm -hmm. For the most oh, part. So, but you're willing to switch. Yes. Um, I feel like it takes a specific, it takes a specific kind of environment for me to, to do that with somebody. Um, because I believe like switching is like a form of like women empowerment. You know, and I feel like one of the most important things you could do for your lady or a person that you like is empower them, make them feel important, make them feel that like they also have power. It's not just a me thing, you know. Mm -hmm. So that kind of goes from me being like a superior to you. So now we're like equals or we're peers, you know. So now what I do if you want a day to day basis, I now give you a chance to do like for me. So it's good to like, you know, spread the love and spread the wealth. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So power that's, that's really what it is. I live for but that. I don't know if I do. No. Power exchange just sounds. I don't know. Like, what do I gotta do? So you'll get the strap, but power exchange where you draw the line. Well, but what is that? What, it, well, what do I have to do to be sub, 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 submissive or whatever? So it's really just who's leading the interaction, right? Mm -hmm. So can you find yourself feeling turned on by the idea of maybe one day the woman set the scene? Love she it. She put the you know created the scenario. You walked in. You like you know what type of time it is. You know she might push you down. She might take charge of the mm -hmm. interaction where you're not the one who has to. You kind of just like lay back and be served a little bit, right? Because people think about the power play. They think the submissive is the one with the weakness. But they're the one giving consent to mm -hmm. any of the things happening, right? But they're also in service. So for you, the power exchange would be sometimes you have this woman taking a dominant leadership role because she's leading the interaction. And then other times it might be you. Mm. But that's... I, I kind of so do. It's like when you ask a woman to initiate... You're asking her to be more dominant? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Because what does she have to do to initiate? Take charge. Mm -hmm. Not wait for you to do it. Mm -hmm. I've actually 
begged for that. You also got to create the space for women to feel like she can mm-hmm. do that. I though. begged for it. I don't you know if you create good. I don't know if you create safe too, spaces though. for that though. A lot of women are, are afraid of it though. Mm-hmm. Like, I say this right. For me, most women, especially if you are one who takes care of a lot, and you're doing a lot in your work life or whatever, you're naturally in a dominant space. So those women tend to seek submission because in most atmospheres they're not able to be that way. But the escape. That ability, when somebody really makes you feel appreciated, you want to take care of them. You want, you know what I'm saying? To make them feel the utmost amount of pleasure. Mm -hmm. So you get intentional. You Mm -hmm. think about the type of things that they like. You know, oh, baby, I'm taking you out tonight. I know the type of food you like. So I'm taking to you this place that I know has great, I love seafood, right? So Mm -hmm. they're like, oh, we went to the the best seafood spot or whatever the case is. Everything that you normally have to think about and plan, Mm -hmm. they've done. Mm -hmm. Right? And yeah, so they're in service. They they bring you back before they fuck you. They rubbing your feet. Mm, mm. You know what I'm saying? They're letting you know that I appreciate how much these these feet mm. step and walk in. You know what I mean? Like as a man, especially. Mm-hmm. Right? And it doesn't always have to be sexual. To that's right. the other piece too. So. Facts. You know, I feel yeah. like I, f- I don't feel it's normal to just be in control 100 percent of the time. Right. You gotta sometimes like listen. There are gonna be times where you gotta lead. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like if all, in order for this to operate, sometimes Mike right. gonna have to pass the ball to Pippen or Kerr. Like you're gonna get your shot to do what you gotta that's do. That's how you keep each other restored. But you gotta create. Mm-hmm. I, I ain't gonna lie, fellas. You gotta create the space though to let women know that that's a thing that can actually happen. As guys, for the most part, we go, especially like you know people who like like a person like Tahoe. You know this podcast, the other podcast, work, kids, family, house. Like we so used to just taking care of everything. I, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. Like he don't really know power. what it's like to kind of have somebody do for him what he does for everybody else. And even you know in that, saying? I'm watching to see what I'm gonna have to do. And he's gonna he gonna nitpick like, uh, you know, like it's a possibility. Oh, that's a Virgo in me, though. Well, right? you but know, submission don't trust. happen without so. trust. Go ahead, I would, look I at the Wonder <laughs> Twins. Ah, uh, yeah, this is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you're not doing that shit right, in there. Right there, like yeah. you gotta trust them. You, you have, have to trust to submit. There's not control freaks though. I mean, like there are a lot of people freaks. who are, but, but why know? is that there? Why yeah. does that exist? Because you don't trust anybody You else. know why? Because <laughs> they're why, so though? used there's to whenever to they're it. not the ones who are leading the interaction, they're used to something going wrong. You ever had that situation mm. where yes. like, if I don't do it, it won't get done right. Mm. Yes. So the trust comes in thinking that if this is a person who keeps their word, mm. this is a person who, when they find out that they can't do what they expressed that they were going to do, they communicate, mm-hmm. right? You ever say that? Like, oh, babe, I'm going to take care of something, and you realize I can't. Mm-hmm. But that communication to say, hey, honey, I know I said I was going to be able to do this, but I'm not going to be able to. That communication enables the other person figure to figure out, out how to. Yes. Yeah, so and not no, feel blindsided. So yeah. that everything still gets taken care of, mm-hmm. as opposed to you said you would. And I just don't. The younger me, don't. I'm the nigga who probably didn't and just like, didn't communicate. I always use this scenario. Right. I would say there's two type of people. If you were leaving work, you say you got a woman at home. She's there with the kids. And she says to me, baby, can you pick up some milk on the way home? Right. So you're like, sure, babe, I got you, no problem. But you get in the car, music going, nigga hitting a little speed. Mm-hmm. You forget. Pussy pink, booty hole, bro. Pulled up to the block. You might have realized, but they're like, damn, I got a parking spot. Damn. Damn. You know, so you pull in. Parking spot. You go upstairs and you realize I, when you get forgot up there, you go, baby, milk. what happened to the milk? I forgot. You forgot. What do you do? Do you say, I'll take care of it tomorrow? Or do you go back out and get it? Um, Because if you're asking me, my mm-hmm. order that shit on Uber Eats. See if you bring the milk. Okay. Bring the milk. What but it, it's going to get done. Getting it done. It's going to turn around and go get it. Because to it's you, it's just a gallon of milk. But to that woman, it's an it's act of service. Fuck all of that. I'm trusting If there's milk word. in the house, I don't the kids can eat cereal. Mm-hmm. I don't got to get up earlier to make eggs and bacon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe I got a little bit more energy to suck your dick tomorrow mm-hmm. or tonight. Right? Like, you might think of something. We do it all the time. We think it's a small thing, but you don't realize how that the small thing is impacting the other person. It's a domino effect. It's right. Like, yeah. So when I trust that, hey, baby said he's going to take care of it, he's going to take care of it. When he realized he fucked up, he tried to remedy it. Y'all both had great, sorry, baby, mm-hmm. g- great solutions. The point is the need gets met. So that woman mm-hmm. knows that when it's in your hands, she don't got to question it. You know what's even sexier than that? Your computer's about to fall. Fix that thing, by the way. You ever like act? You ever ask somebody to do something, and you ask them, you hit them on, yo, did you do it? Oh, it's done already. Yo, it's done already. Oh, that right. Yo, there. something about wet. I did it already. Get <laughs> my pussy, pussy wet. wet, okay? <laughs> I've been over like, ah, <laughs> he did it already. You really need to like click down. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? link the pussy. You just said your pussy get wet. Cause she did it already. 
I thought this was oh, safe space. Oh my god, this is safe space. Felt. Niggas really it the new does. bitches. Should have got my pussy wet just. But that's what her. service is, though. Anything that makes things easier for the other person. Well, I'd like to say that we have made things a little easier for other people here. Um, we had a listener letter on Patreon. Patreon is down right now, so I can't read the listener letter. Mm-hmm. But they were telling us about how much they enjoy our community, mm-hmm. how much they it's changed their life, and the play parties, and you know, being able to do all of these things. And we actually are presenting them with two new experiences. For one, I'd like to say thank you to everybody out there that's been waiting so long for Heart of Soft to present you with something. Right? Something beautiful. Mm. Our live show is coming. Mm. When is it coming? December 2nd. Woo! Here in New York City, we are doing the first of two that we have planned. Mm. Our first show is here, December 2nd. Hit us up on www.thehardorsoftshow.com and look in events. And you will be able to purchase your ticket for the New York live show. That's the first one. That's in December. Nice. Shout out to everybody else doing a live show out there. We try to make sure that we ain't into stepping on no toes. Else. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We're gonna change our delay two times for you motherfuckers. That's, that's community. <laughs> right? That's community. But we also uh oh have another live show. Back again. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be the first week of February on the Limitless Lux Lifestyle. The Lux Jaunt. Lux is a jaunt. short trip for pleasure. Yes. It's a short trip for pleasure, which we are bringing the hard <coughs> or soft community out to Temptations in... Meaches, Dominican Republic. Meaches, mm. Dominican Republic. I like it Republic, like that. Where we will also be doing a live show out in DR. Yes. Yo, this is about to be amazing. It's gonna be everything. Pleasure, bow, bow, bow. paradise. And Can we get purpose. some guns in here? Yo, first of all, like have sound you, effects. Some air horns. Do you remember when I used to go to Temptations? <laughs> yeah, uh, first of all, Temptations has the phone parties. They have the yeah. beach parties every day, pool mm-hmm. parties every day. Like everybody's drunk by eleven, twelve. Like it's literally every day. You're yeah. going every day. Take a nap. Topless. And try it again. Yeah. The, the oranges and, and things of that nature is every night, every day, whenever, <laughs> what point of you the don't people's say. Perf- you personal don't say. Preferences. Personal preferences. That's it's true. really like a swingers resort. It's it's like low a, key. Like yeah, a I would agree. It's resort. like like it's a, like like people be looking to hook up, right? You don't every say. night, but they it's have no parties. no nudity. You have to make sure you say that. No yeah, full it's nudity. Just yeah. It's I gotta keep my top on. Damn. But what are, what are we offering? <laughs> well, in addition to that, uh, we are gonna be having some classes. Mm-hmm. So we have people like Master Lola mm-hmm. um, of the House of SCK. We have none other than Enchantress here. Bow, bow, we bow, also bow, have bow, bow, Mistress bow. Unknown and Goddess Rue. Mm-hmm. They're gonna be uh, doing some classes surrounding dominance, submission, sensuality, exploring yourself in different ways, mm-hmm. um, and how to navigate this space because. It's not only about just having a space for those who've been here and have been doing this for a long time. Mm -hmm. There are many of us that are curious and don't have a safe space to explore. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're going to do. You're going to learn. You're going to unite. You're going to explore and you're going to experience. Your voice Um, feels so safe right now. (laughs) So the first thing we have melt, that's our icebreaker. So, you know, breaking the ice. So it's going to be a uh, lingerie, pajama, meet and greet game night type of situation. We also are going to have our cigar social, so you get to learn mm. about cigar service, cigar um, play, like and also, you can't go to DR and not. You got to give them, you gotta give them a name, culture. because right. the name is... You Dominican? It's, no, I'm Oh, you Jamaican. said our culture, blood clot. <laughs> blood <laughs> clot. I'm a yachty, I'm a yachty, blood okay? Blood um, cigar culture, right? So we're going to have that, and that's called Blown. Mm, and then blown. we also are going to have blown. dessert. That is me. <laughs> Can I be dessert? No. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> And it's that's a, gonna it's be a sexy name, blown. Like, like it just it is. It's we were able to do it in Houston. Mm-hmm. It was a time. Mm-hmm. It was a time because there's a lot of us that actually like cigars, but there's so many different things that you can do with it, mm-hmm. and you don't even realize. So you get to learn, but also enjoy what you love, right? Mm-hmm. And then we also have dessert, which uh, 
is a very interesting, sweet experience <laughs> for many. Oh, and right it's going to be the neon edition. And we also will have the brown sugar soiree. Wait, you ain't say what dessert is. Well, I'm dessert. See, see, dessert is one of those things because also within this space, discretion is also very important. Mm -hmm. You will never know what happens at dessert unless you are at dessert. But yeah. it's tasty. If you know, you know. It's yeah. sweet. It's tasty. It's <clears> going to satisfy your sweet tooth. Indeed. I just, I'm only one I person, be dessert. I just said Sometimes I people can be. You never know. Mm -hmm. I can only be in one place at one time. If I guys. go out there. I yeah. always enjoy dessert. <laughs> I'm telling y'all right now, find my room. Oh. He said what he find said. Find my room. That's, man. That's, I'm not, okay. man. I, you had man. five days and four nights to figure it out. Yeah. And y'all got to understand the type of time I'm talking about. But what else you said you had? Well, you could just text the me brown the brown sugar. Number. So, uh, the brown sugar. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Text Yale. <laughs> <laughs> the brown sugar soiree, which will be the finale. So we'll be on the beachfront in your melanin t natural tones on the beach and yeah. all types of different surprises that will be there. And uh, it's going to be a great experience. I yeah. think it's something that we all need. Mm -hmm. We've all wanted for a long time. And so we're just bringing all the beautiful things and all the beautiful people together. So question yeah. for you yes will there be rock hard gummies oh yes the oh. rock hard gummies are back <laughs> back we, again we got the rock hard gummies back right Don't. now go to www.rockhardgummies.net um we have the juice we have the chocolate door they'll all be in the house but yo let's not take away from this temptations experience first of all <laughs> temptations is one of the sexiest resorts i've ever been to in my life if y'all remember Tanae and i would often go out there it's because we've been other places but this one like the it freedom. did everything it, is. it does everything freedom. you want from a vacation for a vacation bro i might even like buy some yachts like i i, I want to have the, as much fun as i possibly can you said yachts yeah i might get some yacht you know rent some yachts okay. you know what i'm saying i don't know the choice like, I, like, I like the sound, sound of yeah. i like the sound of this um, i like what happens on the water scenes you know on saying? the water mm -hmm. trying i'm trying it's to have fun see. ain't nothing wrong with that and, water uh, sir Listen, be in the water. I will tell you this. Most times be I go water. to Temptations, there are black people there. But it's never going to be like this. I've never been there when it's like this. And I'm sure they have the events or whatever. So I won't yeah. say it's never been like mm -hmm. that. But imagine all of us that oh. go to our play parties, that go to kinks and drinks, that watch Heart of Soft and have our fantasies, have our kinks, have our times, have our freedom, are all out there to fucking gather. For, yeah, four day, for four, four five, five days, days four, and nights. four nights. Can you imagine what that looks like? Imagine the pool. Uh, this is it's all gonna inclusive. Be beautiful. Imagine the party at night. It isn't just part of me to the all uh, fair skinned people. It's not white dominated. It's us. We out there at the parties at night. And we got our own there's events. There's something powerful about having a safe space. Yes. For, you for it to happen. People. That's what I think about when I think about this too. Like if there's something that you want to explore that you mm -hmm. haven't. You're going to have a lot of experts there. Yeah. Like that literally can guide the interaction. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's kind of entering into the BDSM lifestyle. and like, Skill oh, building. I like my ass smack, but I don't know if I like a paddle. You know what I'm saying? I like to be choked, but I want to see if I like a little bit more. <coughs> like all of those things. And so you're we gonna actually have, have a breath play there. class. Yeah. Everybody there is on some shit. Now, mm -hmm. you got your wax plays. You got your, your, like you said, tops. You got your bottoms. You got your subs. You got mm -hmm. your unicorn. You got people that want to wing sorry i know we're supposed to be but this is the thing i've been out there and discretion is key indeed yeah but indeed. they they get to it them rooms be lit and we all gonna have different rooms and i'm just saying pull up and the other thing too is that in order to indulge in this experience you have to be vetted yes so that's another layer of safety and security that's added to it right mm -hmm. and that's something that we don't play with mm -hmm. we vetting is of the utmost importance and it's a two-way street not only do you get to see like okay is this a space that you would be okay to function in but you get to decide do i want to be here mm -hmm. right yeah. you're not going to make a choice without fully consenting to it mm -hmm. and everybody's on the same page and one so. of one bonus about heart of soul is that we vet so much mm -hmm. to the people here that's why you don't hear bad things about our parties you don't hear bad things about our events i'm not saying anything because niggas people people go to people yeah. But we do yeah. our best to eliminate it. to make sure that the ladies feel safe, that the men are educated and understand what needs to happen to make people 
you know, feel good about the experience. And things yeah. get checked. That I mean, ultimately, you can you can't prepare for everything, but mm-hmm. when they occur or anything yeah. happens, you know that you're in a community that's gonna be like, Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. yeah, we don't do that. You we know? don't. So we don't. We don't play with. Them. I'm showing up. I'm gonna be I got half an idea naked the whole up. time. How are I, you showing up? I have a picture. <laughs> you have a picture. I have a picture. <laughs> it's like I thought about this, I and did. I'm ready. I, Y'all want to see this? I am intrigued. Yes, I want to see. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm like I don't I, know. Do I want to Yeah, I'm like this? I'm like I don't know if I should be excited or we are gonna see. This is how oh. I'm showing up. Three cock rings, oh. all on at the same time. Oh, is that too much? Do y'all I see mean, how I my see, shit bulging? Yeah, I mean it's do been. You in front see of how that shit bulging? Before, so. He's like I did not. Loom, look at this. it. I do not want to see. Loom, this. look at it. <laughs> The veins are veining, y'all. Veins for those who are, who are not that's seeing That's not mine, by the way. That's not mine, by the way. What the fuck? What the veins? The veins are veining. Like, so, bro, no. Let me let me make this clear, right? I want to point out. You can't just slap a too. dick in my face and not ask me first. Like, let exactly. me. Like, I understand for them, but we here. You when, feel me? When you walk into this room, you know that you. Get I'm not walking into happen. your room. You know what I'm saying? The unexpected is gonna happen now. If we're looking at this this uh, picture here, what it's do we see? It's a ring at the glance for me. I like the, the balls in the shot. I'm not gonna give thing, the description. The, the one that's I'm, not the giving, I'm not giving a dick description. <laughs> yeah. like, that's a lot of concentrated blood flow. And Tantra's is doing all of this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she she mm-hmm. got this covered. So, what do we know. see? What do we see here, Loon? Oh, I gotta give this description. <laughs> I couldn't give none of the previous ones. I gotta Wait, do this one. You ain't shipping that. I gotta do, the, <laughs> I gotta do a dick description. I asked everybody else. This is yours, man. Here we have. <laughs> <laughs> Putting this in the Discord a, right now a, to the people. A glazed <laughs> cock <laughs> that is embelged and looks like three prison rings. Oh, like, have you ever seen a dick in jail? Like, if it was dick jail, that's what that is. Like, <laughs> that nigga's in the jail. bookings. <laughs> you feel me? But nah, it, I, all jokes aside, though, it does look like, um, looks like a, like, like this shit is full. Like, yeah. like his gas tank is full. Yeah. It's like he's ready Would for action. It? Huh? Would you try it? What, a cock ring? Well, no, like three. that way. Would you? Yeah, three of them. I'm with it. So you have one at the top, you have one at the very base, and then you have one and around the, the nutsack, basically. I'm going to bring one that vibrates just for the bottom one for you. For me? Yeah, because you said you would try it, and I'm going to test mm-hmm. that at Temptations. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's, that's how it's going to sound? On the house. Mm-hmm. Chill. Look, look, look. Yo, you know what? On the house, I got you. Chill. Just what if me. you got the one that you could tell you got on, and you can see it under your swim trunks, and you're wearing that <laughs> all day? Yo, can I ask you a question? Yeah. <laughs> So you see like how we have the um, the remote vibrator for women? Mm-hmm. Do you have like a remote vibrator cock ring for niggas? There like, is one. There is. I have one in my home. I want one. Okay, I got you. If you mean nice. You already, you know. Yeah, it's like, so it's like. I can control it from my phone. I thought it's an app for that. Yes, yeah, I remember back in the day, <laughs> it was an app for that. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, because I just thought about like I'm not, I, just, I just want to be a fucking Red Lobster eating biscuits and my dude just goes. Zzz. Yeah, you know really? what? It's a nice, it's a nice, you know what? I got y'all. I know how I'm packing my bag. You feel me? I want to make I'm tomato bring one bisque. For both of you, but there is one. Yeah, and Just you can make sure you, you can control can it there. You can talk TSA. to it. That's all I got. To Yo, say. a like girl talking to my dick from work yeah. would be insane. Imagine you at work. Can, you can talk to. Yeah. Oh, but you can talk to the vibration. Vibra- no, I it literally. To your yeah, sound like whatever voice. my voice, it's gonna turn into vibration on your dick, basically. Mm-hmm. So, so like, yeah, you could. It's all kind of shit. You can put it to a playlist. Did you take I'd out like, the meatloaf? Song, <laughs> Did you take out the meatloaf? <laughs> yo, yo, imagine, imagine you could talk to the dick. Imagine but you can even, to your you shit. can even Word. FaceTime in the app. So like while they're doing it, they can see your reactions to whatever they're doing. So live. she can see my dick wilding. See your dick and you wilding, like your facial expressions. Yo, over. I need that. And then when Did? she's talking to you, you're looking at her voice moving. And your dick is feeling the vibration. You, you, you see, you see. So my mind, I don't know why I go so negative. I'm gonna get a bitch with an attitude, and she gonna be mad, just barking at my shit. Like, so you just not gonna come home at night, nigga? Mm. Yo, like, oh my god, you gonna, I mean, you well, gonna throw you off the vibe? Yo, yo, vibrating your dick for it. Yo, in in the, in the Discord chat, they said, yo, these niggas bugging, trying all this new shit. They better purchase the travel insurance for all this wild cock, triple cock rings shit. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna yes, keep it right. a buck. If travel I, if insurance. Still any my dick, still any my fucking my dick gadgets. This is a problem. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have a utility belt like Batman. We do. We are doing a lot of things. We're doing a lot. Um. Yeah. So yeah, where do we find we're out exploring. about this um trip? www.limitless.lux. 
L U X E. Yes. That will also be w- in the w- description w- of this episode too, w- correct? Yeah. This dot Lux. Now, yeah. if you go there and you're coming from the Heart of Soft show, yes, do you want to make sure. So, when you are purchasing your ticket, you'll have the ability to put how you know about the event or what group you're a part of, and then you can choose Heart or Soft. Right. Yes. And, now, I, and I heard that there are going to be some special things for you guys as well. So I think yeah. it's just going to be a special time. I know I'm packing I ain't gonna everybody. Hold you. Don't play with me because something special to y'all is on my fucking top of it. That's on the top of the list. Okay? So, I mean, can yeah. I get something special too? I'm just I got saying. You know what? Because you're Jamaican, I got something for you. Yeah, see, I oh, got you. Thank you. What's... I'm, What's a, what's some well, freaky I, Jamaican shit? Yeah, cause I'm like I'm intrigued. Fuck around and put some jerk chicken on the pussy on the vibe. Oh, sorry. Put some jerk, put some jerk, on the on the put some jerk sauce on it, but not a lot. Like, don't worry, I'm not. Listen, it's a surprise, okay? You, listen, certain things should be what done. What's a surprise? A Bible. <laughs> 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 I was talking to somebody this week, bro. She sent me. First of all, Prayer? have you ever? Have you ever? I know the ladies have had this. Oftentimes, y'all meet a guy, he's fine and shit. You like, mm, right, can't wait. Right. And he takes pants down, he ain't got no dick. <clears throat> shit's happened to y'all, right? I've had it worse than that. You I had a pussy? A question. Before, you, before you go into this uh, enchantress, have you ever said, you know what? Mm, you got to know a guy. You weren't too impressed <laughs> by his outward appearance. He was like, mm, whatever. You know what? I'm going to fuck this guy. And he take his shit off and he got a fucking monster down there. Has that ever happened? Because it happened to me. Not like that. Uh, <laughs> I I'm, have so many questions. I'm like, but wait, hi, not hi. like that. You mean so? Wait, let me make sure I got it right. You mean got wild with the big dick? Because at first she said, I met a woman. I thought she was attractive. I mean, I thought she was cool. You know, we talk. She wasn't like you know like Beyonce. She wasn't like mm-hmm. it was like cool. But she was okay. My nigga, when she sent me the news. I'm like, what the fuck? Where did you get all this pussy from? Pussy fought. Yo, did you, did pussy you just say fought? Did you just say P H O T? Fought. F O T T. Fought. We gotta end this episode, son. This nigga Jamaican Tahoe booty Tahoe's crazy, crazy, bro. <laughs> booty like round, defined booty, and I, and I seen the pics. I'm just like, it's cool. Hey, it's cool. Mm-hmm. Tuesday, something to do on Tuesday. Mm-hmm. You know, ain't no football on Tuesday or nothing. Jets lost. You know what I'm <laughs> I've had Bro, it. I've had that happen. You've had a, a person that was. I literally, my and not a pussy, but a dick. But I definitely was like, my only reaction was like, there are no pets allowed in this house. And he was like, what are you talking about? Like, <laughs> it's a fucking snake. It's my life. <laughs> <laughs> like that shit. I was like, I'm on. But got, it felt, it felt impo- sure. like, see, shit like that. I see, and that becomes like. A challenge i'm ready like when i see that i'm like i need to know if i can take this mm. I, I seen that pussy and i was like yo this is of uh, some this is some wild pussy fought son this like, shit is like, like a white castle burger son, Every time says, son, like, like a four for four <laughs> crazy and she took the pick at like laying on her side yeah. and she's like behind the, the she's like behind you the can see the pussy from the back yes mm. and the mm. ass was, yeah, you couldn't see her face the Ooh. ass was over her face. It was like crazy. I was like, yo, so, what a bump a clot. That shit happened to me. Don't, can, don't, can, don't. Yeah, Jamaican yeah, towel needs to be left somewhere. <laughs> I did that for you, what? <laughs> Jamaican towel. Leave Jamaican towel in the bedroom. I can't say bumper cloud. Nah, you can't say bumper cloud. Oh, there's certain you? things. Can, this space is not that safe. <laughs> she can't even but, suck, suck, suck. That happened to me in 3D, though. No funny shit. It happened to me in real life, son. What happened? I was dealing. I met this young lady, feel me, eons ago. And um, we were um, we were in school at the time. So I go for she was a real pretty girl. So I'm like, okay, you know, she, you know, she pretty little slim thing, whatever, she's a cheerleader. You know, she got that little sport body. Yeah, I took off her pants. For starters, it was so hard for me to get the fucking pants over the ass. I'm just sitting here like, <laughs> like a, you know, you know the, Wait, you, you know, you know, you know the fucking, you know the tricep curling. You just sitting here like, jump to get jeans off. Yo, shit? I took the fucking out. pants down the butt. Lily said, "Wow." I was like, damn, bitch. I did. I said that. I'm like, yo, where was you hiding that, man? Yo, her ass was so crazy. And now because of that, I know how shit going to look even when you got your clothes on. I know how it's going to look. Mm, shit just popped out. Just whoo. I ain't still I never had anybody surprised by like the size of my ass, but I've had people tell me they're surprised by the softness of it. Mm-hmm. Like, that's the thing that I've gotten. I mean, it. 
Me too. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't even. I, I, mean, I, I got to apologize. Lost. That's literally what happens. Like people will be like, I've had women too. Like, can I touch? And I'm like, sure. And they're like, it's so jiggly. And I'm like, mm-hmm. what do, what, it's an what? ass. It's Some butts ass. be hard out here, my nigga. Yo, do you um manscape? No. Like for women. You what do you mean? Jungle, you just hairy. Just hairy I don't get that hairy. I told you I don't get that hairy. Bro, stop, please. Come I on don't. Now. You want me, to, want me to whip it out, nigga? No. Wow. Why because I've been wanting to put dick in the back of my throat, but when it's a it's a forest down there, I'd be like, all right, we're gonna do three fourths. <laughs> <laughs> like, nah, I say he said this is done. That it's a not seriously because it'd be shit trapped in you know the nah, ears and things. I'm I, like, I say all the time, like I don't. But, be trapped in but me. manscaped, manscaped dick, I'm putting that shit all the way in my mouth. But like, what is oh, no, what are no you talking about? Manscaped, you going full bold? What are we talking about? It don't have to even be full bold. I just want to see the skin. Under, I'm not describing like when you got enough hair down there that I can't see the skin beneath it. Mm. Mm. I'm a little hesitant about going that deep down with my mouth. Heard that. Mm. <laughs> right? Is that yeah, a thing? Yeah. What? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. For you too? People have their preferences. Yeah. Do you like bush? Do you like full bush? What do you like? Definitely like extra care. Like a little bit Take of cleaning up. You know, you know what I mean? Make sure it's clean. Light like Caesar. You want a light like, Caesar? Yeah. Is there, a, is there a, like a yeah, service out there that does this? Because I don't wax. like cutting my own shit. Wax, wax. your penis mm-hmm. bald. I would, oh, my nigga. Relax. That sounds like a prison sentence. But they got, they got like shit for you guys to clean that area up. Yeah, that's even waterproof. I have the mask yeah. yeah. thing, Jiggy, but I just that feel weird. Or whatever. Um, like trying to cut it. It's 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 just it's <clears> really <throat> weird for me. I would rather just go somewhere and get like a. If that and there was a service, I would refer. But I mean, for me, they like I like balls in my mouth. I want to get under that shit. I want to. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to lick in the Gucci area, and if it's a lot of hair, I'm gonna be discouraged from going as full fledged as I can. But if that shit Have is you ever clean, had to tell a man to do that? I've done it for him. Right, like in the a shower, I would tell him come in the shower, and I would tr- I would trim his dick hair down for him, or that's whatever the case hard. is. That's service. I would do that for no, sure. You know what I did one time? It's service. <laughs> I would I would certainly do it. I'll do that. I'll exfoliate your dick and all that kind of shit. I'll you know saying you exfoliate. Yeah, because I like to, to use. We be having yeah, dick, niggas. We having sure dick me, nigga. So it's nice and soft, and when it comes out, remember the acne is dick You ever see shit so glistening that the water is the water bubbles are dripping off of it because it's so moisturized? You exfoliate his dick. Yeah, I use my sugar scrub and I get in there and I massage you it. The I gloves? massage the, the balls. The weird defoliating gloves? I'm using my hands because that sensation oh, of the, my with touch. The, with the yeah, scrub, and with I'm taking scrub. it and I'm just like rubbing it. I'm getting under. I'm taking his balls and I'm kind of rubbing it like that too. I'm looking at him. I want him to know like because it once it's done. You gave him a dacial? Yeah, a dick <laughs> Yeah, but once it's done it's nice and glistening and that makes me want to put it in my mouth. Mm-hmm. It looks like a chocolate bar because I tend to do black dick. <laughs> Um, and I just want to. I'm sorry, take your hand. Yeah. <laughs> what Drake um, said? Dark. 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 I ain't gonna, dark. I, I ain't gonna lie. What time for Valentine's? I, I, I shake my shit up like a little line up to just make it like a complete circle. <laughs> Yo, you a fucking. That's the father's I did. What? I thought so you were like, say you made it. You made it a circle. Yeah, a loud, that's that's a hard. like a circumference. Like it just. That's a circumference. Why would you do that? Because it was mad neat. You ever got your bed lined up? Your shit just look mad sexy. Like you just lined it up, nigga. I'm so sorry. That shit might remind me of like when like a, one, of gra- one of the things like when the the, the meter <laughs> and, and the shit is like this is a hundred percent. I can't unsee it in my yeah, head right now. I also I shaved my dick once. When I was like in the sixth grade and. Like my shit got mad bumps, and it was it was the most uncomfortable feeling yeah, that I've you ever had in my life. You're probably shaving against the grain. You and probably weren't using the proper. Ways. I don't know what I was doing. Proper here. cream. I was just bored in the crib. By the See, HBO, actually, so a lot of people think you use, with that area you want to use a thin, not thick, because you can't really see how low you're cutting. Oh, this shit was thick as but shit. But when you use a thin shaving cream, then you can actually see how low to the grain. Shaving you're going. cream. You want to shave yeah. against. The, like you don't want to go against the grain where you're bringing it back because you get ingrowing mm-hmm. hairs and at least the bumps. Yeah. But if you shade yeah. the opposite direction, it's low enough that my mouth can catch contact with your skin nah, and I'm not swallowing man. hair. No, my shit tell y'all right now, I hate the though, feeling man. of growing back hair. They don't understand. Can, so. well, you don't. We don't understand. Y'all don't got dicks. Even, but do you understand that everything for us, like we have to hair do the same thing? I ain't gonna lie. I, I, I shouldn't have said that. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all we don't understand. That shit feels crazy, but I don't like my dick bald. I don't like bulb twats either. All right. I, That's I, everyone I has tend to just, preference. I just, I tend to clean like the lips and below, but I leave a light 
something on the mm-hmm. top upper area because mm-hmm. this is a grown woman pussy right here. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? She, so I, I want you to know that this is not a little girl pussy. Right it's now, a grown yeah. woman pussy. But the Some bottom area where your mouth is going to have to do a lot of licking and mm-hmm. all that kind of shit, I want it to be clean enough for you to glide all across that shit like this pussy saw. The girl what, sent me a know? pussy. She's rubbing her shit, but it was fully hairy. Like how hairy? It was like her dreads. Rastafari. A lot of guys like it though. <laughs> it was hairy, hairy. It was like Rastafari. a bush. And so she's like, would you put this shit in your mouth? And I was like, no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> but I no, tell you this. I, I don't, I, because I start thinking with, with hair in my throat the, and it's a lot of stuff going on. Yeah, thing. but yeah. I have had so many guys on like OnlyFans but request for me to stuff. make content before I shave. But they just like the hair in the upper area, not necessarily mm-hmm. down in the pussy lip area, mm-hmm. but up in the top. Well, how do I they tell want... them that I would like her to shave it? You have the conversation. Well, you know, I've had a man shave my pussy too before. It was so intimate. I, never I wouldn't trust it. myself with that so, kind but, of task. So wait, the other thing I would want to say to that is find out why she has hair, because for some people there's meaning to it too. So understand what the situation is, then have a conversation about preference. Yeah, this, how, this how does one... a man tell a woman? I need you to shave that shit. Well, you don't do that. You don't say it like that. You tell them what you appreciate. So if a guy said to me, I just love when I see you got a little bit of hair there, but your pussy lips is clean. Like, mm. it's something about that that just mm. makes me want to salivate in it. Like, mm. I want to put it in my mouth. I want to lick or your pussy. Just... So, like, when if you say it to me like that shit, I'm going to clean the fucking pussy lips quick. That's what you want to do when you see it like mm-hmm. that? Right here. You know, you never know. Because I think people give feedback from a space of negativity. Mm-hmm. Even with men, Right. You know what I'm saying? I like when I can see all of your dick, babe. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? You don't got to take it all the way low, but just something about when I see that you taking the time to prepare your dick for my mouth, that right there turns me on. So mm-hmm. the approach of complimenting the thing that you want mm-hmm. actually makes them process it mentally different because the mind can't digest a negative and a positive thought Facts, at the same like time. You're saying, don't <coughs> make it a negative thing. Make it a positive thing. Make it a positive thing. thing. Tell mm-hmm. them what it does for you when yeah. you see it like that and then ultimately I wish I is their that. choice yeah, yeah. and, and if they're, so choice. and then you act you say things like that are you com- so if you're comfortable i would love if you maybe would you consider shaving it like that would you consider because you'll find that people are open to things but sometimes when you approach it where you're like i can't say that you keep all that hair on your pussy that is a negative mm-hmm. yeah and then so makes them feel i wish i, wish I knew you 10 years ago yeah. yeah i wish i knew you 10 years ago this one lady that i was dealing with Pussy was mad hairy, and I was like, "Yo, why your pussy so hairy?" <laughs> and she was like, "I was on like a spiritual fast, some 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 do with like mm-hmm. religion." And my stupid, I was like, "I will right, come back when you find God." She never spoke to me again, no. and I hurt her feelings. And she did because we we ain't never had sex, but she was. Mad. I'm like, "Yo, this is the first time we gonna have sex." I felt like disrespected that you felt. Mm-hmm. It was okay for you to pull up on me with your shit but like on Safari, I but I didn't realize. All right, why. I didn't. My dumbass, I was so young. She was being vulnerable with me and opening up to me, uh, and I never got. I never got the box. You owe her an apology. She fired now too. You come do. Come back when you find apology. God. It's crazy. I come back when you find God. No, no, no. That's, 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 that's not. That's not the title. That's not. That's not the title. That's not the title. That is not going to be the title. What not to do? Yeah. I go. I think we all go through those areas or times where there's times mm-hmm. where I don't have as much time to do pussy maintenance as I want to. I'm gonna go, so I'll do a quick cleanup. You know what I mean? I might mm-hmm. not have time to do the whole. You know how long that shit takes. You know what I'm saying? So, but I want it to be clean enough that it's edible. Mm. But also asking you know? them, how do you prepare? What do you like to do? What makes you feel sexy, right? Because right. sometimes a woman can say, okay, you know, I like to have everything gone. The man could probably clear less. But this is what they want to do. This is how they feel most comfortable. So, so finding out what it. they like. What for would themselves. you like, right? Say if there was a so a young lady reached out. She wants to she wants to wax Loon's back. My back ain't even that hairy. Son, she wants to wax your back. We My spoke, back ain't that hairy. We spoke. She says she's gonna be here next week. Gonna she's gonna wax week. wax Wait, your week. back. Okay. Yeah, she's gonna wax. <laughs> next week. She's gonna wax Loon's back on the show. Um, but she asked me if I wanted a manzillion. Uh huh. What does that entail? Are you everything? A, everything. What is that? Butthole, all that? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Why would you want to do that to a nigga's butt? A lot of niggas like that ass eating. Well, I it's, like my ass it's just removing all hair. So when you say full Brazilian, it goes in there as and well. And today too. as well. 
That's actually the easiest part. I don't part. know if my ass is hairy. Though. It is. The easiest part. I can attest to like that. Like, when you do that, like, that means it's done. It's, it's easy. How long does this last? And it takes a long time. I was going to say I can go a month sometimes they say the I, And they say the more you do it, the thinner your the hair The thinner becomes. the hair. So, basically, what because it's taking it from not... See, see shaving is just the surface. Yeah. But the wax is pulling it from the root. So, the hair doesn't grow back as mm. potent. As so, over yeah. time... It's less and less strenuous. It but doesn't hurt. Typically, it would know. be like maybe four, four to six weeks, depending on how hairy you are and yeah. stuff like that. I have a question for all three of you guys. Mm-hmm. Sure. I can't answer this because I'm not a nigga that shave. Does oral sex feel different for you, especially as a man, when you're shave versus not shave? Do you? Does it feel better? Does it feel like she's more comfortable? Does like I'm, walk me if down? If she that? likes my shit, ball, mm-hmm. I feel freaky. I can tell you that. You feel freaky? I feel freakier. Oh, when you, if you bald? My shit is bald. If she likes it. If I know she likes it. Now, some women don't enjoy a nigga yeah. That's what doing it. Bald eagle. And yeah. it can be super awkward if you just back a bald dick out on her shit and she's used to your shit over here. You just shave all your shit off. It's like if you come in the house and you cut just your beard off. Cut your beard off, not a baby crying. Beard. Yeah. And you just walk in the house like, honey, I'm home. Who the fuck is this nigga? Like, <laughs> That's how change, you don't want a bitch looking at you like that That's a big when change. you pull your, yeah. your man's out. So yeah, mm-hmm. like like T said, it's good to have the conversation. But to answer your question, if my shit ball and she's into that shit like that, I feel freakier. I feel I feel way freakier with my shit down. So I don't know. What about you, ladies? Um, so for me, like I said, when it comes to the other, I like something that looks like you did some preparation it doesn't have to be clean or fully bald i'm okay, if it's bald I'm, co- I'm okay with that too but just something that shows that you're taking care of that area of your body because your height that hygienic point of it is uh, attractive to me mm-hmm. but personally for me i've had different requests right i have some men I, I remember posting a video on instagram where i blurred my naked body but the fact that that area looked a little darker to them they was like is that hair on your pussy mm-hmm. like that was a super like mm-hmm. They was like, I'm coming right now. Mm-hmm. Like, so there are guys who are turned on by that. I'm coming right now. Yeah, it was crazy because they was it, one of so many of them. <coughs> they responded that way, like, mm-hmm. like trying to see behind the blur. I'm like, nigga, just subscribe. <laughs> but yeah. you know what I mean? Like, but there are so that requested that, and I've had that in partners too, who are like they attract, they're turned on by seeing. Like I've even cut like I'm shaved like hearts and shit into mm-hmm. my upper pubic. Liddy. You know, like get fun with it or whatever, and guys like that. And then I have some guys. When you in a relationship and you in a long term situation, you know that it's not always gonna be perfect. Boldy ain't always be curting. You get comfortable with the. You know what I'm saying? You get comfortable with the mildly, not Mm -hmm. really completely clean. When you take that extra step, yeah. Yeah. That you most niggas say that if she shave her pussy and it's not you know, then she fucking somebody else. They say that because most women don't. They say they don't do it until it's time to get some. Yeah, they let that shit wolf out. <laughs> yeah, I just do a light touch up because oh, it was appropriate. So I wolf. like my ass eating. <laughs> I like I like you to be able to go from the top to the bottom. Mm-hmm. Rudy, t- I don't. T- yeah, I don't want you to feel like you have any jungles to climb. ATM, through, uh, you know? There was a young to lady move. Tink speaking about her relationship with uh, Hit 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 Maker. The young oh the, okay. the producer, okay. and she's an artist. She's a songstress, she's songstress yeah. of some sort. What about you, T? And she was saying. Um, <laughs> that the hit maker eats her ass. She was like, "Oh, for all you chicks out there, you know what I'm saying? I just let you know if you think you fucking with him, like tuh, he eats my ass from the rooter to the tutor. You know what I mean? It's different over here." She was styling, uh-huh. and chicks in the comments was like, "Bitch, they all do that. They all eat. Is that is that normal now? Hell yeah, cause- ass eating." Ass eating, but you know what it is. I'll tell you that tongue fucking the the vagina opening. Mm-hmm. It, like a lot of guys are just comfortable with kind of that straight through mm-hmm. nowadays. So if you keep it clean, mm-hmm. I find yeah. Um, for me, like, cause I don't mind eating a guy's ass. Mm-hmm. Right? You don't mind? Do you enjoy it though? I do, cause I like I derive pleasure off the reaction. Mm-hmm. Like, and s- yeah, <laughs> I'm a play it. I'm a milk you if you let me. Oh yeah, I'm like a milk you if you let me. I like that. Um, because for me, it's also something Oat very milk. sexy Oat about a man's confidence when he knows that he's a straight man and that he's doing it with a woman, mm-hmm. and that it's enjoyable. So I like that. But if he don't keep that area maintained, now what does milk mean when you say milk? What are you talking about rusty trombone? 
Well, milking a man kind of involves taking that finger into the rear area and. Oh, that's what that is. You gotta hit the prostate gland. I thought you was milking like a cow, just like ringing a bell. Nah, baby. That ass like this and his shit, wilding him up. I'm got hand stroking dick while my mouth is between. You know, one hand is on the dick, one is on my mouth is on the balls while my finger is tapping the rear. So it's three and one happening at the same time. Body fuck around and take a screenshot. (laughs) 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 Yo! Yo, all through the all through the same time. I'm like, yo! (laughs) Like don't Yo, son, but what it was the a movement fuck? that went with it too. Like this, is that was a nah, lot. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's so funny because because I had a partner. I had a partner who loved Yo, it, loved it, loved it. He's over such, stimulation, such a name. masculine guy, and it became the butt of a joke for us. Like anytime I would talk about you, me, he'd be like, stop, stop, mm-hmm. stop talking. Yo, about what it, the stop fuck? About it. But the way he would come. Niggas. Yeah, how was that? You know, your I iPhone mean, over here. I never had a, pro- I never had a prostate um, exactly. orgasm. I, never I could a... tell. I could tell for him that it was out of body. You know what I'm saying? Like psychologically, his mind went somewhere else. So it'd be that sometimes we were 69, mm-hmm. and I have my pussy in his face, my ass in his face. So he had a thing for like, you know, ass in his face too. Mm-hmm. So you know, face mm-hmm. it. And so I'm kind of like. It's a lot of things happening. You know, you got pussy in your mouth, ass in your face. I'm upside Finger down. I'm thinking in your ass. I'm stroking and sucking Shut your up. dick and your balls at the same time. It's a lot happening. And the way Jeez, the like, way he would right? come, I could feel his body like when it was about to happen, just lock, mm-hmm. you know, like for that screen release. Yes. And it was something <laughs> exactly. about that that would make me go harder in that moment. Mm-hmm. Like, it's I, I enjoy... I'm a voyeur. Niggas, and his body says. So I really enjoy seeing a man have pleasure. I have a question, T, before we get into the show. We know we haven't started yet. What? We haven't started the show. Oh, this is foreplay, baby. Wait, what? Listen, bl- women say they want a niggas to do more foreplay. This is you just are more foreplay. sitting here. Yeah. You're watching, Loon. You're like, no. You see me with the dick strap. You're like, eh. You're listening to Enchantress. You're like, wow. Mm-hmm. I'm enjoying it. But you way. put on these dope events. Yes. Do would you consider yourself to be quote unquote freaky? <laughs> I don't even. Oh, you're just an event planner. I don't really use the term freaky. Mm-hmm. I guess if that What's makes the sense? word you use? Get I want that mic. word. Come a little closer. Come to the mic. Oh, that. sorry, I was talking on the side. You mm-hmm. did give me the instructions. Yeah. Sorry. I, keep I don't really use. Do I like it's your first time, my girl? I don't really use the word freaky. Um because for, for me, certain things are just a norm. That's what I get from you. Mm. So I would say I'm open. I oh, get yeah. that what's freaky to us might not be freaky to you. And that's why you're so calm and chill. Like you like a serial killer freak. You the like nigga that. we got to watch out. Like <laughs> She the motherfucker that milk a motherfucker yeah. and just be like, what? 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 This, is, this, is, this is Tuesday at 9.57. She's like, hmm. Yeah, so like, okay. That's kind of normal. Like, oh, oh, you never I'm did this before? I'm just a calm, very intentional person. That's yeah. just what Whenever women say intentional... With she child. is though We've had so many talks When we talk We talk <laughs> And we've also been in Those kind of spaces together mm-hmm. Or whatever the case is And one thing I can say Is that Not just in like Okay if you've been to one of Limitless's events Like Fed Which by the way The formal erotic dining Formal experience. erotic dining experience Is coming up in November yes. <coughs> So November 4th in Philly Look out for yes. that November 4th Philadelphia yes. It's kind of like this very, you see there's all kind of like lifestyle parties, all kind of kinky events, but you come out and it's different, right? Mm -hmm. There's all this etiquette training. You feel like you are royalty, right? And the way that they train the service team to come out and Mm -hmm. serve you. I mean, these people are, are, are understanding like, not even to make eye contact with you. Things like the subtle, the. You just feel like that motherfucking bitch if you are an, a big letter, right? And But you also feel on the other side. I'm thinking like all the shit, the planning that has to go to execute an event like this, the, the level of intention for it to go as... Gordon, yeah. If, she, if that's the intention she brings to the bedroom... <laughs> Chow. That's all I can say. Chow. I know that some lives are being fucked up. I'm going to put it like that. Listen, I said this a couple of weeks ago. I like my <laughs> life. I don't need my life to be fucked up. Before we start the pod, you have another video, don't you? <laughs> no. <laughs> I do have a listener letter that oh, speaks on what we do, what the Enchantress does, what T does over at Limited, Limitless Lux. Um, this one is it's just the people who are adding to the lifestyle community, who are, you know, 
helping to educate, helping to make people feel safe. Yeah. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And I asked her, I made sure to ask, hey, would you mind if I read this um, to the community? And there may be people out there who this resonates with. So I wanted to say that somebody out here has given y'all a voice. Now, it says, well, a little backstory as to, first of all, she mentioned, what was the thing that made me start? Um, she said something about how amazing being in the community was. And I was like, well, tell me what, you know, what, what's happened. And she says, well, a little backstory as to who I am and why this platform is so amazing to me. I'm originally from Liberia, West Africa. I'm 41 now. I've been on my sexual journey and started to explore like about like 10 years ago. So where I'm from, anything that has to do with sex is taboo. We don't talk about it. It's like an unspoken rule. You know that it's going on, but you don't talk about it right. So, LOL. Mm-hmm. So when I got into this life for the first few years, I was still trying to learn things and experience things and didn't really know what was going on with me or my body or how I was feeling. I just knew I liked how I felt. I wanted to explore and do more things. Being sexually free is such a liberating feeling to me. Two months ago, I took my son to his dad for the summer. I drove to Maryland. I found your show the day before I was leaving. It was recommended to me on YouTube. I watched it for eight hours and 45 minutes, Mm. straight to ATL, except when I stopped to put gas in the car. And ever since then, I've been hooked. I'm learning so much shit. My confidence has grown like 10 times. Like I've said, I've learned so much from your show. But the main things that I have to take away from the show is I'm excited because there's people out here that share my views and things that we enjoy sexually that look like me and are proud and not ashamed of it. I mean, it's amazing. Two, I haven't had a conversation with my partners about what they like and how they like it. I've been asked how I like certain things done to me, but I've never asked anyone. I just figured I'd do what I do, and they loved it, and that's it. LOL, except with one person many, many years ago that told me I didn't know how to suck dick. And I said another guy would never tell me that, so I took classes and watched videos to learn how to do it. And let me just say I got an A-plus in that class. (laughs) Anyway, thank you for starting this platform, and thank you and your team for keeping it going. Love me some loon. He gives the show such a great balance. Fire, fire, fire. Yes. Shout outs to you. I Shout love that. I love I love messages yes. like that. But it does make me think. Does make me think. An ask question. Wanna ask question? So I'm gonna ask a question. Okay. Have you ever had to teach somebody how to suck how to suck your dick? Um Yeah, often. You know, um well, have I ever taught somebody how to suck my dick? Yes, not, I'm lying. I haven't done it that often, but I need it often. You know, I'm a real particular kind of guy. I tell people all the time, I'm not really big on sucking, <clears throat> I'm not really big on getting my dick sucked. <laughs> sorry. And I say that. Very open here, bro. You can say whatever nah, you want. sorry, just drink your water. Shut up. <laughs> but I say that, you know, because I'm very, I like, I'm very particular. So in order, like, I don't really get too many eaters. Like, it's like, I don't get no lit shit like that to me that often. So like. I don't really care for it because I'm like, I don't want to be disappointed. Let's just, let me just eat your box. You know what I'm saying? I get that a lot. So, but I do find myself being in positions where I have to, t- where I'm not satisfied with how the neck is. Mm-hmm. And I do find myself every now and then having enough cojones to say, you know what? I actually will prefer if you do it this way. What would you say? That Tell way. What, like, say, explain what was going wrong and how you corrected it. So, um, so one time, it's not that she did it bad. It just wasn't quite how I liked it, but I couldn't quite figure out like how I liked it or like how I should should explain her how I liked it. So what I did was I was watching porn one day on page like 89 and I found a video of some chick sucking some dick and the head just looks so far. Yes, this is it right here. So after I got my nut off, of course, I copied and pasted it and I sent it to her. I'm like, yo, look, listen, like I'm not saying and if you want to perfect sucking my dick, I like it just like this. But you what, know, what did how you, did she respond to that? She she's been wonderful. She was wonderful. She was, huh? She's she, been, she, but yeah. she was. Why are you she's doing this? Her. Why are you doing this? I'm just asking a question. Why she's you asking? Been or she was? Is it now? Or was oh, it, we, is this about my love life or my dick sucking? What are you doing? <laughs> I mean, getting my dick sucked. Getting my dick. I don't I'm suck dick. Mm-hmm. You know. So, what was it that she, the person was doing right? In the video, mm-hmm. it was the frequency and velocity and the area of how continuous like she focused on one area specific way and i just loved it it was so it's like a like a like a she's fucking with the top yes she's fucking with the tip 
the the, the beginning part of my penis. Mm -hmm. Pause. Glands, my dick. Who the fuck's his penis? You know. So I find that I find that um, for guys like if you it's because I mean it's kind of hard to really explain how you like your dick. So I mean you do it very well. But for the most part, guy, we don't really know like how to do that. So if you really like, if you don't know how to find the words, find a video. That's my tip on telling guys on how they can assist in letting their partner know how they like getting a dick. So That's I interesting. Yeah, I yeah. definitely had to teach somebody, right? Like they did it, but their thing was that they were scared their teeth. They've always heard their teeth. Some guys, guys actually teeth. like the teeth. So she Sometimes. would be like, she would more like be a, like a hollow mouth. She would be scared for the tongue or whatever to actually touch the dick like because she didn't want the teeth to touch the dick so she's just like and i'm like hey hey, 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 hey. <laughs> you know what i'm saying <laughs> but she asked and i was like you mind if i give you some critique seriously I don't, i'm not trying to hurt your feelings but i think you have like a really good potential yeah a lot of potential so like if we could just like tweak some things and then you could tell me what i could do better for you i, I did it like that like we were going to exchange information mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying and I basically gave him my thumb and I was like, so this is what you kind of do right now, but this is kind of how I like it. And so I took the thumb and act like I was like, chill, it's a thumb. I didn't say it. You know what I'm saying? Because you're looking at me crazy. I'm just, you know what I'm saying? Don't look like that. So you use your thumb. Yeah. Why yeah. you just use her thumb? Because that way she Either got way, it's too. both mine. It doesn't matter. Okay. Just ask a question. You know what I'm saying? Questions. So I did like that. And then I said, I actually like when you, like if you suck the thumb, you know how you suck thumb? So I said, suck, suck your thumb, suck the thumb. And she did like that. And I was like, see how you can actually feel it? I was like, when you suck thumb, you don't think about teeth. You just, you know what I mean? You're just sucking your thumb. And I was like, that's how I like my, my shit suck. And I was like, all right, now try it. So ladies, suck Tahoe's dick like a thumb. You know what I mean? Like a pacifier. And then I said, like, now try it. And she went down. She was like, mm -hmm. and I was like, just like that. Well, you know what's interesting is you know I teach this class. Do you? you don't say. You teach a sucking dick. You class. teach a dick sucking class. I'm known as the headmistress, mm -hmm. and my class is called the Headmaster's Playbook. Um, but don't get ahead of yourself. <laughs> ah, ah. Well, I'm you not. I'm not ahead of myself. Look at look at look at this. Listen, I'm serious. telling you. you listen, this eyes? the tree that. Listen, I'm not scared of you. Them little eyes of yours. You don't have to be scared. Listen, I'm not scared of you. I got eyes too. I'm not looking for fear. I'm looking for pleasure. All right. It's a very different thing. I don't want you to be scared of it. I want you to be like, oh, that's amazing. But. Yes. The first thing that I have to address with women when they come to my class, before we can even get to technique and the things that you guys are talking about, is attitude mm -hmm. and anatomy. Mm -hmm. So, so many people don't know the organ they're sucking. That's the first thing. Tell me about right? it. And so many people, right? Right now. <clears throat> so many people don't understand that for men, and this is most men, not all, but the primary is visual. So if you look like you don't want to do it, it actually starts to walk back That's the real. arousal yes. for them, That's right? Yes. So I have to first get into the point of like understanding their mindset and going into it. And so for women who don't enjoy it, right, I usually have to teach them how they can come from doing it. You know, we've talked about it on the show before, but like if I can teach you how you can gain pleasure yourself from giving the act, right. then it might actually change your mindset. But once we get to that, we get to the anatomy because how I suck your dick if I want you to come versus how I suck your dick if I want you to get started up, mm -hmm. but I don't necessarily want to take you really there. It's different. two different things. Two different things. So what you just spoke about a second ago, Lone, when you talked about her focusing on a specific point, especially mm -hmm. at the head where the frenulum is, which is the most sensitive part on the penis, right? That is a technique you would apply when you want them to come. Mm -hmm. Because if I give too much focal attention to that part of the dick, then I'm going to literally help all the semen travel from your nuts to your prostate and then out, right? The way I would describe it is you have to be intentional, right? Because some guys, once they come, we done, right? right That's now. your night is over, sis. I hope you Yo, had a good time, so, you know? I got work <laughs> That's in the all, morning. folks, right? But <laughs> so, back this out. Right, you got to back, you gotta back <laughs> on the thing. <laughs> but so I always tell women... Be, be thoughtful about that. We don't realize this with gagging, what's happening. You're taking the head of the dick and you're putting it in the back of your throat and you're allowing your throat to grip it. So you're still stimulating the same part of the penis. But the visual aspect of seeing your dick dissolve in someone's mouth adds the other stimulation for a guy. We're like, oh shit, she's making my dick disappear. Mm -hmm. And I'm also feeling her throat grip my, my mm -hmm. head. So that's really what gagging does for a guy. But a lot of guys just appreciate a lot of stimulation at the tip. So when I can tell, mm -hmm. just like when you're fucking mm -hmm. and you know you're about to come, what you do? Mm -hmm. You be like this, 
As soon as you know that shit about to happen, you, you back it up a little yeah, bit, yeah, you slow yeah, it down. Yeah, yeah, so I always tell women, if you're not trying to make him come switch technique at that point, right? Bring your hand up to the tip. That's when you want to go start licking on his balls. But if I'm trying to make you come, I'm actually starting at your balls. Before I put your dick in my mouth, I'm starting at your balls. Because that's where your semen starts. So I'm going to build up the arousal of the semen. And once I can tell that you your balls is nice and full, I'm going to start working my way up to your head. I'm going to focus at the tip. I'm going to give you a little bit of tricks and motions. I'm going to give you a little bit of that kind of action and bring it in. I'm going to pop my lips on the tip of your dick, all of that type of stuff. But when I'm ready to make you come, I'm going to get consistent. Same motion, same pattern, same suction, no changes until you come. Right? Yeah. So... Yeah. Yo, she's killing you. I gotta get the fuck out of here. <laughs> this yo, shit is ridiculous in here, man. Yo, yo, do me a yo, favor. What's wrong with you? Yo, let me get some. Why are you doing shit like that? I'm yo, sorry. Wait, wait, wait. Yo. Yo, 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 you got any extra shows? But I'm being honest. really like doing it like she's got, teaching the class. Because that's what you have like, to understand. Wait, wait, can y'all hold? You got extra shorts? No. So I gotta go in with nothing in my underwear? Oh. Come on, no, but for real, like I'm talking. Okay, for my guys and my oh, ladies, man. you gotta be so like. If I want to make you come, I'm gonna do what I need to do for that. But if I just want to start you up, I'm gonna be more fun with it. I'm gonna be slapping your dick on my face. I'm gonna be. <laughs> I'm goofy. Mm-hmm. I don't know about y'all. Do y'all like goofy women? Mm-hmm. I'm playful. I'm like you miss me. <laughs> you miss me. <laughs> mm-hmm. All that crazy shit. I'm making eye contact because I want it to be fun. Because I'm not trying to make you come, but I want you to enjoy it. So. Then we get into technique. Then we get into enhancement. Then we get into breathe, other parts of the anatomy. You, I'm you, sorry. You yes. know, I'm you passionate know. about this shit. Okay. You know what, I, like, you know what oh, I realized, oh, oh. honestly and truly? This might, this might sound very silly, but I feel like you got to learn how to get your dick sucked. Yeah. Because what I realized is, right, because I never even thought about it. Like, you know, she said, Yo, you suck dick two different type of ways. When you want to get started and we want to finish them. I feel like my brain, I guess the reason I don't really like head that often because my brain is just, yo, I just want to get finished. I don't really think about, yo, this is just the startup or a warm up. So it's like, yo, if you're not giving me your finish him head, it's like, yo, that's it. But then you made a good point because after, after you finish me, I'm also finished for the night. You feel me? It so I guess way, yeah. I actually do have to learn how to get my dick sucked. Now, this actually. brings me up one thing that I'm going to ask after I do the intro for the show. Now, I'm going to do that right now, mm-hmm. right? Yo, you just brought up some shit in my head, but pause. Welcome to the Harder Soft Show, where we talk about the things men like about sex, the things men don't like about sex. I'm sitting here with my debonair friend, the ambiance, who is now serving. You, ser- you, ser- you all right, bro? Oh, my fault. Yeah, we here. Yo, what's going on? It's the ambiance. The ambiance. A.K.A. Drill Clinton. A.K.A. Doctor. It's not Tongue. gonna stick. It's not gonna stick. Tongue. La 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 la. Call me Drill Clinton because I stop and frisk motherfuckers. All right. Oh. We so are also said. here <laughs> with the enchantress, my darling friend. Hey guys. How are you? I'm the okay. Sucking. Uh, uh, Go ahead, finish. The head, like the head, the head, they mistress. call me the head mistress. Head mistress. The head mistress. Yeah. Don't look at me like that. I ain't did nothing. I'm sorry. I'm the head in charge. Ahead. But go on ahead. Tell them about yourself. Go on I'm ahead. I'm doing great. You know, I'm always go good ahead. when I'm on this couch. Oh, you're amazing. I'm all. Oh, I, oh, I feel good when I'm with my people, <laughs> and and I I love the judgment free zone. It feels good. Yeah. It does feel good. You know, I'm a I'm an open book regardless, but it's always nice when you're in you a space. You gonna put me up? Yeah, okay, hold on. I see how you want me for the second half, y'all. We're going in. We're going in. <laughs> but yeah, I, I always feel good when I'm with my family, the Heart of Soft community. Those, if you're watching this for the first time, you found a place that you can call home. You ain't gonna ever want to get the fuck up out of here. So. And along with her, we are joined with the Miss T. Hello, everyone. Get out with your little subtle ass voice. Hello, everyone. I like when she used that voice. Don't say that because it's so soft. That's how I talk. She's not trustworthy. I don't trust you. Oh. You up to something. Am I a trustworthy person? Very. How are you feeling today, Miss T? I'm actually feeling feeling good. I'm having a good time. I'm having mm-hmm. a good day. Yeah. And I'm happy to be here. So thank you all for having me. I love your shirt. Thank you. Her shirt says, for those who can't really see it, it says, yes. for the love of service, yes. limitless lux." 
lifestyle. Yes. Brandon and Dandon. Yes. yes. But it's the it's the message behind it for the love of service. People don't even understand what that really means, girl. Mm-hmm. Like But yeah, I can't stop looking at the word. Well, not just because it's on your titties, because it's <laughs> Because it is on your titties. <clears throat> we have been having it's such a lovely, place, and I like titties. <laughs> you don't, you don't say. We've been having a real lovely episode this evening. Yeah, we have some real. Ref- it's good to have some refreshing energy, some new faces, also some new announcements of you guys. If you guys have been listening, we have had two huge announcements, mm-hmm. and I just personally want to say that I feel, I just feel it feels good to just have like this compatible energy just in the room with us you know what i'm saying like you know we mean we do our own thing but you know to have somebody or somebody's mm-hmm. match that energy is really 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 pleasant so shout outs to y'all well, you know well, i, I love y'all. y'all hard this week oh uh, you just want to jump right into it that's yeah, where we're at. Go. okay cool <laughs> so go. you guys do know this is the hardest solve show where men discuss the things that we like which is the hard about sex the things that we don't like which is the soft things that we don't like so you know we do have a woman equivalent to that it's called a wet or a dry but you know this is also a genderless judgment free zone so ladies if you got someone got your dick hard then fuck it we got you hard this week so miss enchantress because you are familiar here we're gonna start (laughs) off with you we're gonna give t some time to get her mind right right? thank you so much what got you hard or wet this week well you know what i actually have it's a beautiful example that turned into something that really turned me on. I had, so first of all, I, with Bedroom Candy, I'm the director of training and development, right? And so I was charged with putting on this massive um, first time event. We had this new event called the Social Affair and Pleasure Expo. Mm-hmm. So for me, I'm always super, super happy whenever there's a space where I'm seeing a lot of black folk come together and learn mm-hmm. about you know these types of things. So I had a... Uh, an amazing show we had an amazing ceremony where we were recognizing success where i was shouting out the names of black people all night who were doing a phenomenal thing so that type of shit makes me feel good Mm -hmm. but the thing that got me wet wet what got you i got home i was tired i didn't even sleep before i got on the plane i literally i was with sir marvelous and siphon the night before shout out to marvin mall shout out to them and we kind of well he punished me for a demonstration I had Siphon kind of like wash his feet in front of the audience which is a little bit out of his normal Mm -hmm. and so he was like I'm gonna get you for this shit later so he did and that ended up being a situation that caused me to get in at 5 in the morning and go straight to the airport I got home dropped my bags and I walked in and after I showered and I laid down right um my partner grabbed my feet and started to massage them Ooh. And the cutest thing was that my son, my three year old, wanted to be like daddy. So he jumped in and he grabbed the other foot, and the both of them were like rubbing my foot. And it was just like the sweetest thing because for me, it was like. Good tribe. Yeah, I spent all weekend in hills, literally for two days straight. And I, what my feet were swollen and. Two tired. days straight. Yeah, yeah. From Double 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. one night, from 8, 8, 8 a.m. to like 1 p.m., 1 a.m. the next day. So mm-hmm. my feet were like done with me. But they rubbed them, they rubbed them, rubbed them. So when the little one went off and he went and took a nap. All right now. <laughs> All right now. Mama continued her care. All right now. So okay. that got me very wet. <laughs> listen, listen, man, this life in general, you know, even when we were speaking to earlier to um, a person like you, to always be working, to always be having to put something together, plan something, take something apart, making sure something's running according to plan, walking in heels, which I feel is fucking insane. It is good to like actually come home and not only be, you know, rewarded, but like a chance to decompress from what it is you've been going through for that entire weekend. You know, like I ain't gonna hold. This is not to make this about me. I'm damn. I'm gonna save it. I can't. I'm. We gonna come back to this. I'm gonna put a pin in it, but we are gonna circle back. I'm gonna rem- be a full, I'm remind you be a full circle it, moment. This is this better. is what got me. This is gonna be my heart. Okay. Full circle moment. So, Miss T. Next. Okay. You are up next. What got you hard or wet? And it doesn't have to be this week because you are a new face here. It could be something that got you hard. August 27, 2021. <laughs> Feel me? July 31st, 97, whatever. What is something that got you wet or hard? So I'm going to take a little bit of a, a detour. Um, so this weekend, because we have an event coming up in Philly, the Formal Erotic Dining Experience, November 4th, 
So we had to go to Philly. Literally. Are you doing something in Philly soon? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. You guys should, should come. come. I'm going to be there. Okay. Should come. Oh, it's a great experience. experience. In there, like from where? <laughs> What's the and theme for this one? Um, again, to primal pleasures. Primal pleasures. <laughs> Wait, well, a wolf's up. prime? That's I'm, prime. Yeah, you can. <laughs> that's primal. <laughs> I'm coming, lioness. You are such a oh, hater. Gosh. Don't look at me like that. I just hate that you keep growling and you don't do it nowhere else. You just come here. You just growl. Why? why do trouble. you be with me at other places? All right, so you walk in this primal in, space in the garage and just start growling in the air. I growl at work. <laughs> what, 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 I'm sorry. Can was, we come I back was, to that too? Because I'm curious. You said I'm curious like, about why we growled that word. Just, he just lies for no reason. Go ahead. I don't lie. <laughs> All right. All right. But um, I like I'm alive. sometimes you know when you're you know working on putting things together, you know, for, you know, for the love of service, things don't always go according to plan. It's it's a rough road sometimes, and people don't always see what goes on behind the scenes. But in 24 hours. Things that we have been waiting for months to come through just flowed. Bing bong. Cons- Bing bong. Like consistently to the point where it was just like, is this for real? And we just had to stand and just say thank you and just walk in gratitude and just know that what we're doing, we're doing it for the right reasons and our intentions are in the right place. Fire. And when you're doing that, everything will align the way it needs to be. Nice. So Fire. that's what filled my cup. That's what made me. Made your cup run it over. Indeed. What did it make you? It made me wet. It made you wet. Ooh, drip, 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 drip. She said it. All right. Sounds like me. You asked me earlier about what was the question you asked? Whether about the you got better dick when you broke, broke. yeah, or better dick when you got money and everything is good, right? Mm. And I was like, you know, it's been a while since I've been broke. You know, thank God. Shout out. Thank you, Lord. Blessings, yes, yes. on the wood and everything. But I can say, when I'm in a bad mental space, I don't have great sexual experiences. I just don't have the energy to, to yeah. share with somebody. I'm, it's like almost like a here, take it, and um, let me go back to my misery. You know, mm-hmm. it's like that. Mm-hmm. When I'm in a good mental and emotional space, I need less for me. I have more to give to you. I take more time. I'm more creative. I'm more, I'm happier. My energy is better. I'm not in a rush to get it over with. So I give wit much better dick when things are going right. Mm -hmm. As like say, like say T um, Mm -hmm. said, and life has just been, you know, I must say that I'm blessed. In so many ways. Shout out to Miko. She took me to the Jets game. Nice. First, it's my first football game I've ever been to. And it was mm. Monday Night Football, the opening game. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So, and they won in overtime. <laughs> Something that doesn't happen often. Fucking nuts. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> um, but, I, you know, when I'm in a good place, bro, nigga, I'm, I'm on her body all day. Love I am that. nigga. It is nigga good. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Bring a Red Bull. You know what I'm saying? And and make sure the kids know. Make sure your kids got somebody to take them to school in the morning. Mm-hmm. Cause you ain't. You ain't. It's gonna be a minute. <laughs> it's gonna be a minute. And um. So yeah, I would say if anything, that made me hard. This week it was just being in a really good mental and most space. A lot of times my last couple years has been defined by what I lost or what went wrong or me mm-hmm. overcoming. And this year has just been just pleasure and feeling great. You know what I'm saying? Just being on the up yeah. spot, being yeah. able to deal with negative things be- better. Word. Not saying that things don't happen, Word. but yeah. being able to have certain conversations Word. and not let them be like a fucking apocalypse yeah. or, yeah. you know, fall yeah. into a deep ass dark hole. Dark. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dark. I and, um, you know what I'm saying? That's I just being in a better space to deal with life and actually excel at, at being myself without having to cover up and, change and do all kind of other shit so yeah that's what made me hard it's funny how you back to what got you hard <laughs> he said, let me tell you what got me hard today Lou. Yeah. <laughs> but um now so i'm gonna circle back now to what you said speaking. resonated with me like this um yo for the last 10 years i've been working non-stop um, I have not left the country since like 2017. I don't want to tell you the last time I had a vacation. I'm always working towards something or trying to fix something that fucked up. I'm always grinding through something. I'm always weathering a storm. 
Um, I'm trying to keep my mental intact or replace what the re, re, replace the damage has already been done to my mental. I've kind of just been fighting for my life for a mm-hmm. very up until I want to say like about last year. Mm-hmm. It's kind of been fighting for my life. And um, I want to say last Friday, I want to say it was last Friday, someday last week, um, the girl that I'm talking to, she took me to get a massage. Mm -hmm. But this is actually the first massage I've ever gotten in my life professionally. I've never got a professional massage before, ever in my life. You You know what I'm saying? I've taken many women to get massages. I've never personally got one in my life. Because it was always... Couples massage? It was always, nah, this is for you. There's so many men. Like, I'm... Because I'm big on, I want to do things for my partner that doesn't involve my benefit. So I'll take my shorty to the spa. Like, yo, just run wild. Do you think I got it? You know what I'm saying? You do. This is a you thing. Because I like, you know, I don't. it doesn't always have to be about us. It sounds like it could just be for the benefit of you. But I've never had somebody take me to the spa. So what I would say is, you ever like been walking around all day and you don't realize how tight until you sit down? And you're mm-hmm. like, ooh, child, yes. I need to sit down. Mm-hmm. You know, that massage, I just kind of felt it took off the last seven, eight, nine, ten years of all the shit that I was going through. Wow. Mm-hmm. So Ling Ling is just literally like, here, here's the job, right. right. the job you didn't get. All right. The job you didn't get. The the girl that broke your heart. The time your phone bill was off or the electricity was off or this person coming to you and they don't ever, they never did for you when you need them mm-hmm. or whatever. And it was just coming off and off. I'm just sitting here like, oh my God, yeah, I need, I need that. that. So yeah, that was kind of like the ultimate form of decompressing, something that I've never experienced. It was almost like an out of body experience. Mm. I left there feeling so light. I went to sleep like a fucking baby <laughs> that night. I was in the bed just like, <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? Like instant knockout. So yeah, that's definitely what got um got me hard this week. It's so sure. crazy he says yeah. that, man. Because so I'm not gonna get emotional because we're not that kind of we're not doing. It's not that kind of get emotional not today. <laughs> no, but you know, but but honestly, when men close. talk about the lack of having an opportunity to release, it gets me there. Mm-hmm. Um, because it's something I, that really fucking matters to me. Like I, I talked to you. I talked mm-hmm. on your show before about like I grew up in a in a household with my grandfather who was the, you know, the one who did everything. My grandmother, you know, unfortunately was out there doing drugs. She had a mental disorder. So she wasn't the one, you know, usually people think grandma's yeah. pa. It was Fact. grandpa's for me. Mm-hmm. So like my growing up experience attachment to my vision of men, especially black men was always different than all the women around me. Like they had all these negative associations and me, I'm like, I can't, I, relate. I can't relate. Like I've only seen strong black men, but truth be told, I think that that always carrying everything was the thing that killed him, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And to this day, I think he would have lived longer if he wasn't being so damn macho. You know what I mean? Like always carrying so much and never oh, having shit. a chance. So I'm so passionate about normalizing men having decompressing, mm-hmm. you know, moments, moments of self care, getting a massage, pampering, and all that. So yeah. I think it's so beautiful that somebody did that for you mm-hmm. to give you the opportunity to experience that mm-hmm. even once. Mm-hmm. And I ain't gonna lie, if I was in your shoes, that shit would have been my heart too. The fuck, like you know, even to go a step further, um, I feel like <clears throat> not as you say it, I just had an epiphany when you said it. I feel like me just stugging shit out by myself. You know, my mom, she left to move to Atlanta a little while ago. So it's me having to deal with life by myself, like the mental breakdowns, the emotional breakdowns, the financial breakdowns, the physical breakdowns, being sick by myself. Like I thought I was gonna die when like mm-hmm. like right before COVID came, I feel like I had that shit for a drop. Mm-hmm. And I feel like I was gonna die. I was scared. I was, now I don't be scared like that. I was in my crib like, damn, I think I might die. Like going through shit like that and being yeah. by yourself and thugging through it, it kind of took away my ability to sometimes empathize and sympathize with other people with their problems. So when people yeah. come in with their issues, I'd be like, so? And it's not fair. Because to not, you, it's like, that's, li- I'm like, that's, I, that's what that's I've life. been doing. Like, yeah, that's, that's, that's I know, life. I know the you know feeling what I'm of that. So, yeah. And you know, sometimes I do, like, I ain't going to front. As I've gotten older, I do sometimes pick up, like, on a time where I'm like, yo, damn, Lou, you an asshole. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're a, like that was a jerk moment for me. And that wasn't but necessarily wasn't. something that happened before. But it you wasn't. Know. It was just your real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Based on your experiences you and how time. you, yeah, you mm-hmm. used to dealing with things that people are complaining about. For you, mm-hmm. that's your normal. That's your every day. So yeah. you know what I'm saying? But it can't but affect your relationships. Though. Look, it can. Give it up to yourself. Mm-hmm. But coming to the point where you realize that that wasn't the the one the shit. Yeah, but what I would out. also, but what I would also add to that is now that you've been exposed to it, don't deny yourself that. Oh hell no! I'm not. You you can't book give. One right now. 
like at the end of the day, you know, a lot of times you want to give, you want to take care, you want to be of service, you want to mm-hmm. do all these things, but you cannot give if you don't first give to yourself. You Facts. cannot give what you don't have. So taking care of yourself and doing it without guilt is necessary. Yo, mm-hmm. men, though, we don't, yo, it's very often that I find that we always on some responsibility shit. Always. I mean, once you become, like, responsible, right? Mm-hmm. A lot of motherfuckers. <laughs> 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 I don't want it. Yeah. It's yeah. Yeah. If you're not responsible, a long time, up. literally ducking responsibility, mm-hmm. like knowing a bill was due, and I would, like, run from it just because the, the thought of paying it was just stressful. And I, yeah. you know, Fuck. um, but once you become responsible, you're always on time with responsibility. There's always something to do. It's always something to do. And I had to teach myself to take moments for myself. Yeah. Yo, sometimes when life gets stressed, I would pause everything and go get a foot massage. Yes. Well, right yeah. to the spot down on Fifth Avenue. They had a spot that just did foot massage. You know, and I think it's they closed. a lot closed. of nerves in their feet. But, mm-hmm. bro, and I would sit there the and I would put my headphones on mm-hmm. and I would listen Bye-bye. to Janae or fucking Drake or somebody, you know, just mm-hmm. very soft and just... Lena and she would be sitting there looking at me like, "What are you? You know, you okay? Are you okay?" But well, can I ask you guys something? Is what? that okay? Mm-hmm. Have you ever had a woman massage your dick, but not for like sexual purposes, just to kind of relax you, like feed you affirmations while she's like rubbing your dick and massaging things and rubbing it slowly and just kind of mm-hmm. telling you like, so I what kind of affirmations tough. are we speaking about? Like, I know this was a tough week, but you, you know, I mean, you got through it. Like, kind of affirming everything that you're going through. She's affirming it. She's telling you like, you know, you, I, I see everything that you're doing. I know how much you take mm-hmm. on. You know what I'm saying? You're so powerful. You're strong. I know that it gets difficult, but I appreciate everything that you do. Like, literally just stroke your ego from both ends. Like, you, like from the organ and from your mental. I gotta get off this podcast, bro. <laughs> I can't be. Right. No, no, because like he's like, okay, you know what? Let me. I'm about to right cry. In this moment. No, that shit I'm is. I'm really about to cry, and it's not because you did anything wrong, because you did it right. Like the fact that you took time to actually speak while you was doing this. Yo, my dick. You know that chick, like she like rubbing right here. You just want to yeah. be like. Cool. Yeah, yeah word, 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 word. Area right here. Word. But the fact is, is that it's not even about oh, me. like, like you Arousal. said, sex. It's yeah. just this is the like make me, you know, a manhood. This is yeah. where it's at right here. Yeah. And if you know where to touch, but you also know the words to say, uh I had you a know guy what's so one funny? That that happened I with. take my wallet. You know I what? When I, when I when I think <laughs> about it, right? Well, for starters, the answer to the question is absolutely fucking not. Mm. <laughs> but it's so funny. When I go to sleep at night, since I was of my mom told me I've been since I was like maybe like three months old, mm-hmm. I do not go to sleep without holding my dick. Like I literally go to sleep like this every time. So now that I'm thinking about it, that's like my most comfortable space. Nice. You feel like when I'm out to sleep, just you know what I'm saying. <laughs> so it's like that will. That's probably I never thought to share that with somebody, but nobody's also never took the so opportunity done it. to so like do that. So many women don't think about it, and it's funny you know? because I had one scenario. I was about to have a sexual moment with somebody who I've known since we were like teenagers. Mm-hmm. He had a thing for me forever. So I felt like in the moment for him, it was like this moment that he never thought would happen. And it, it was mad shit going on. We were we were we were out of town. It was an Airbnb full of motherfuckers, everybody wilding. So I think it was so much happening that for him it was like this is happening. This is and it. then and then right now with all these niggas down there and da da da. So I was just, I remember saying to him, like, it's good, we don't got to, you know, whatever. And we just was talking, and I was just literally rubbing his dick. And I think he didn't even realize when it was getting hard, like, that it was happening mm-hmm. to him, that it was just taking his mind somewhere else. Mm-hmm. So I always think about that, and I never forget it, that women, right, we possess so much power. Yeah, yeah, man. And the ability to, like, take yes. your mindset and put it somewhere yes. else. Yeah. And so, like, I don't know. For me... It could be rubbing my nipples. I can have nipple orgasms. I'm big on it. Like, Been there. I could come off of that for sure. Been but there. like somebody just rubbing my nipples and just asking me how my week is going. Shit like that. I'm like. Also uh, too. That shit feel like yeah. hypnosis. Like. Yeah. Yo. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Also too. Like not for nothing as a nigga. Yo. If you make a nigga feel comfortable with the gummy. Like you unlock a different level of freaking a nigga. You know what I'm saying? Oh, gummy dick? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, yeah. Facts. I'm a, I don't. You, I don't gummy? just show that to no. just. I'm gonna be honest. It's probably True. been like maybe negative six chicks ever see me on gummy. Like I don't just be showing that to nobody. You'll but see my feet. You see my gummy. It, they want to see it. That's what I'm saying. Do you so like, like slap you, a hand away. Like no, I ain't hard yet. 
Um, I'll, I'll be hoping the nigga get there a little bit. Like, yo, just give me something. My nigga. By the like, time it me, comes out, it's soft. By the time it comes out, yeah. this is or like, like he gotta be at least at fifteen percent. Like, give me some kind of battery life. You feel me? <laughs> but yo, if, if a it's nigga, nothing worse you make than it, life if you comfort you comfort a nigga on the gummy though. Like, you do you know what kind of like intimacy and like freak you unlocking a nigga? Like, if I, if you could make me feel like myself at gummy, yo, there's no get the strap. <laughs> get the strap. I said, get the strap. That's what it takes. That's get the strap. That's the new requirement. If you go fuck with me at Gummy, I'm going to get the strap. I'm going to get the strap. Oh. No, but it's for real. I, look, ladies, y'all hearing it first. Anybody who's listening ladies, from the Gossam. So, but seriously, oh, their ego can be met. They got. They, we always say y'all got two heads. Yeah, man. Mm. If y'all can tag team both heads, you doing something, but here's the thing: don't be bullshit and be genuine. Because if you're just saying it, just, you you could tell when a person don't really. It either. Yeah. Don't, don't tell me the pussy minds. Like, don't do that. What oh, you T, she just said so it. weaponized. Well, it, oh, because I want to get this or want to mm-hmm. have you wrapped around my fingers. Don't do it. Mm-hmm. Do it with genuine intentions. See the person, and I want to pour into you. Mm-hmm. Genuinely, do it. Do it like you would want someone to treat you, right? Mm-hmm. Like that golden rule. It's funny because I just shared a clip from the past episode we all did, and I funny asked the is. guys what makes you comfortable being vulnerable. Mm-hmm. And so many guys was in the comments saying, "I feel like women weaponize my emotions so much mm-hmm. that I can't. Mm-hmm. Like they use it against me, yeah. so it kind of defies the purpose of me being vulnerable. Because people look at vulnerability mm-hmm. that's that's allowing someone to a space that you're not typically comfortable mm-hmm. in, yeah. right? And so I give you this shit, and then you come back mm-hmm. later." Mm-hmm. And at the ideal moment, use the shit that I gave you yeah, when I was, like, my most, oh, like, bitch, that's how low you going, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. Most you guys never right come back. back. You'll yeah, never most guys never again. come back from that. You'll never get it again. Hard. Exactly. It gets very difficult to share again with, with anyone else. Also, yeah. also, we're also missing the most important part. As a human being, we are here to feel all emotions. We're here to be mad. We're here to be mm-hmm. happy. We're here to be sad and all this shit. Vulnerability is a state of emotion. Yeah, you know how is. unhealthy it is to not be able to tap into that level of emotion? Like, that, you could get sick like that. You could yeah. deadass get sick and die. Like, yeah. if you have nobody to open up to, you just hold all that shit in. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, yeah, it's deadass yeah, like something jewels. that can really fuck around and kill Especially you. Especially if you're a black yeah. man. Y'all yeah, yeah. niggas dropping motherfucking jewels in here today. Nah, for real, man. Shit. I know and we Kasha, talking to nasty, The Chantress, you was talking about uh, being with somebody and y'all not doing it. You just, yeah. you just comforting them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I never did that. Mm. I always wind up fucking. Yeah, me too. And you know what? I'll say, <laughs> say this though. I would say if it happens, whatever. But if it's, but it's, it's not the, the goal, yeah. right? Sometimes you never know what those things will create out of a person. But when you set forth, I'm not doing it because I want to fuck you. I'm doing it because I genuinely want you to relax and be confident. But if that's the mm. type of a feeling it provokes in you, I think that that it sets does. up for that type of sex that's that deep, intimate, only you can get this kind of you know what I'm saying? Like mm. energy type shit. I've had a guy put me in that trance where I'm like, I, I can't just fuck you. Nigga, I gotta love you. I can't just fuck you. I want I want your soul. You ever you know fucked what I'm around saying? and you ever fucked a person by mistake? Like, <laughs> that's what I'm thinking about while y'all while y'all talking. I remember this girl, we was just cool as shit. We was mad cool. And then we just liked each other's energy, but I wasn't sexually attracted, attracted. to her. Like, so it was like, we could just hang out, whatever. And then one night, it was just like, she was like helping me unload the truck. No, not Millie. This is not Millie I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is years, this is eons ago. Eons ago? This is eons ago. Okay. This is before Ch- any Ch- of this happened. Hit that, hit that okay. bell for me right there. Hit it, just hit it, just hit it. There we go. Eons ago, before any of this this happened on with this show, this is literally years ago. Um, she came up and we started drinking. And we like looked at each other and we like, Just for whatever something. reason, we fucked. And literally the relationship was different forevermore. Like we was not friends no more. I don't know what the fuck happened. I think I was avoiding her because it was mad awkward and I didn't want her to think that I wanted more pussy because I right. didn't. Mm-hmm. So I, didn't, I wasn't sure if she wanted more, you know what I'm saying? And I just kind of just avoided her and fucked up and lost a friend. Because I fucked by mistake. Has that ever happened to anybody here? No. I don't. I, so I'm a challenge. I don't think the friendship was lost because of that. It was because of what happened after. Mm-hmm. Because you forgot to rely on the friendship that even brought you there. 
Because with that friendship, you guys should have been able to speak to each other. Like, oh, that was crazy. Can you imagine that we actually did that? Talk about it so it's not this big elephant in the room. Because you're saying, well, I don't want to give the wrong message. She's like, oh, well, I don't want to call him and make him seem this way. Both of you are having conversations with yourselves and never with each other. Woo! Oh, baby. Woo! And that's what blood clot. And that's exactly what it was. Oh. We a never blood really clot, T-Dad. Because exactly. you kind of avoid it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You avoid it and after that. And you create your own narrative. Because you, and you create the own awkwardness. Yep. Mm-hmm. Around a situation. Mm-hmm. I mean, I've not been in that exact circumstance, but I have had a friend who I was really devastated to lose as a friend because mm-hmm. they started to see me in a sexual way. Right? And funny thing is, so a lot of people don't know I, I game. I met this person... On PS5, on PS4 at the time, it wasn't five at the time. It was PS4 at the time. Not cool to do that. We used to play actually with GTA, right? Yo, GTA Online is wild, wow. crazy. We no to, funny we shit. To, yeah, we used to so, get busy. We used to get that. heist after oh, heist, sorry. locking in. You know what I'm saying? So we in a PlayStation chat, but you know, if anybody who games knows that the people you talk to online, Be they cool low key shit. like your family yeah. because they t- you on these you with these motherfuckers all the time, and they hearing <laughs> shit in your background in your house. You got to remember to mute the mic and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, so this person was somebody I became so cool with. Then if you remember, there was a point where PlayStation did an update, yeah, where you you could sync your Facebook profile. Now they mm-hmm. can see your real picture. For, yes. Man, you know I wish I never connected that oh bitch right God. there. Because this was my nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this was my boy. We talked about everything. And then he finally saw me. And so everything changed. Everything changed. Mm-hmm. And the friendship was never what it was. He was kind of like, yo, I'm trying to be your stepdaddy. Like, you know, I know, yeah, I'm yeah. trying to fuck with me, stepdaddy. I got, nigga started telling me I'm working here. I got a job with MDA. Like, nigga was really giving me the rest of I got benefits, baby, 11 Yeah, nigga. yeah. He was like, you know what I'm saying? And now for me, it was a similar really feeling that I it's not that I didn't think he was attractive or anything, but it was just cause like you my boy. Mm-hmm. Like I don't really want to lose mm-hmm. that, mm-hmm. and it never, it never was the same again. Yeah, cause he was thinking y'all ain't, ahead. y'all ain't never steal a car again. Mm-hmm. Let me, <laughs> I didn't never steal a car. Let me get. I never shoot him up again. <laughs> very quickly, we have twenty minutes. Okay. We have twenty minutes. Now we spoke about the things that made us aroused this week. Late, lately, mm-hmm. right? I'd like to speak on a more general basis. Overall, things that make you hard, things that make you wet, period. Something a person can do that will get you in your fucking bag. Things that make you hard. So, mm-hmm. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> right? Yo, gosh, so... Ooh. Me, you, and Maine, we had a conversation. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Maine. Shout out to Ma- shout out to the Maine effect. That's mm-hmm. my God. Mm-hmm. We had a conversation, and I said that sometimes I feel like I like women. I find women more sexy in panties than they do outside of panties. Mm. Sometimes, you know, I guess I don't know if it's a form of like tease or arousal or oh some kind God. of foreplay or like pre situation. But yeah, I'll never forget one time. Um, my lady at the time. She had came home from like somewhere and like she had heels on. And I was I was in her bed, actually. And she like unzipped her dress. And but she didn't take her shoes off yet. So she walked to like the dresser and she was walking with heels with panties on. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Now you got growlers coming out now. <laughs> It's primal, baby. They getting ready for November. My nigga. Stop growling next to me. That yeah, shit is kind of vibrating to my pussy yeah, right can't. now. I'm sorry. You can't do that. Son. You can't do that because I'm, I'm feeling that right now. And I'm, Son, I'm I, her room was like the size of a fucking PlayStation box. She took four <laughs> steps. My nigga, my dick just said. <laughs> just smacked in the head. Punch the Shit just like this. My like. pussy is like really react- mm, activating right now. My dick was hard, but I wasn't even horny. I was just, I couldn't believe what I seen. I was just sitting here like, yo, you ain't just do that. Mm-hmm. My nigga, the mm-hmm. sex we had that mm-hmm. night? Oh, my Keep motherfucking on. gosh, my nigga. We said men, are, we said men are visual, visual first. I said son. it like. I suddenly <laughs> have had heels over my shoulder. I got her. I'm getting to it, and I'm looking at the fucking heels bouncing over my motherfucking <laughs> oh. shit. And nigga, that, yo. So like, that oh. shit do it for me. You ever seen a dog? You ever seen a and dog I try, try to, to walk? Just saying. I try to tell women that wedges <laughs> don't hit the same. Not the dog. You ever seen a dog try to stand on two feet? Niggas be looking at you just. I, 
I guess we stand here and just. You cannot. Stop. You don't see the talk on two feet. Niggas be looking at you this. You cannot have a wedgie. Wait, wait. I'm going to put that shit as a status. Wedges don't hit the same. Uh, Wedges are cool for the brunch on Sunday, but not for the bed. Not the link. Don't the wedges bouncing oh over God. the shoulder is not the same. It's something no. about that pointy hill, right? Yeah. Something about that hill. You gotta uh, eat. my thing is if a motherfucker's coming to your house, you ain't gotta be in them shits that long and once oh, your feet in the air, baby, the pressure is off yeah. of that. What are we worried about? We gotta own heels to do that. But I'm gonna keep it real with you. I, 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 a woman that can walk, a woman that can freak some heels is sexy period. Oh my god. I, you can wear heels, but if you can't really walk in them, it don't, get you look, you, it's going to look silly. Yo, sneakers. heels, are, nice. if you're not a heel <laughs> nigga, it's not for you. Is good. It's yeah, just yeah. like, because you, I don't want you look, looking weird trying to yeah, walk in heels. Like, it's not, yeah. like, it's not for everybody. The way it brings my calves up and it lifts my ass yeah. Son, to be in a pair of heels. Yo, the way I'm, good, kind of, I'm not short and I'm not tall. I'm 5'9", right? Mm-hmm. For a nigga, that's tall. Well, for Full a woman, girl. I guess, right. right. Yeah. But something about that extra four or five inches that brings Ooh. me up, yeah. that shit makes me... Get over here, your Allen walk, Houston. Your walk is just different. You know what I mean? Ooh. You just... Nigga, she cooking in heels? She, I've seen... You know, I used to work on Real Housewives of Atlanta. Yes, I know. And Nene did the heel run years ago. Because she used oh. to be a stripper and shit. <laughs> they ran in heels. A man won, by the way. You don't say. A man, yeah, they, he busts their ass out the gate. Clack, 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 clack. Here, needy at the back. Clack, 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 clack. This nigga out. This nigga busts out like a fucking bat out of hell and fucking won this shit. Dusted them. He looked like Shakari. Women can't have nothing. Yo, yeah. Women can't have nothing. Damn. But, okay. Your heart, I would say you're wet. Was I was wet. Uh, I figured all of us a little wet. Yeah. I ain't well, yeah. a little what's hard. Up, what's what's up? Up? I can't even fake that. Mm-hmm. That growl I just did. That's some. That's some. I know, shit. and that's I really felt the vibrato yeah. Yeah. come uh, through the seat. Yeah, that's that, why that's I was like, I need shit. you to stop. Yes, <laughs> that shit. Yo, that's it's dangerous. like vibration of my vibrator it's like, your mouth. Like that image <laughs> lives in my head rent free. Like I will never ever forget. See, there's a moment in history where you got me to react. Yeah, Let's slow that down, EA. Can we get her on the ground? God. What Drewski said. Got him. Does anybody else have it. a hard or a wet? Something uh, they just generally like when people do. Something that makes them hard or wet in got, the bedroom. I got two sides of it. Though. Mm-hmm. Oh, you got a cold. Like, I got the sexual one and then a non-sexual yeah, one. Yeah, give me the it sexual both. one. Right? right so, <laughs> like, this is so sexual, I'm, I'm very big on touch. But I like to be spoken to a certain way, right? We were just mm-hmm. kind of talking about this. So I appreciate both the praise kink side of things, mm-hmm. but also degradation when it's sexy like i like to be told that i'm your nasty bitch mm-hmm. i want to i want to be told i'm your filthy slut because mm-hmm. then i want to be i want to embody what you what you just told me but also that you're doing such a good job mm-hmm. you're sucking that dick so good mm-hmm. i love the way that pussy is bouncing on me that type of shit is just yeah. like i, I want to go family. harder like when they when you behind me and you and, I, and you pointing out me looking like <laughs> let me tell you this if i look back at you and i laugh it's on nigga it's on because once once you activate me it's almost like the motherfucker said the lotus flower blossoms in the spring and i go yes yeah, and i'm gonna just start fucking the shit out of you right so that is like on that side but on the non-sexual but kind of sexual why you have my teddy bear on you <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry i do this to him all i'm sorry no, I but like, seriously, like it just makes me want to throw my on. ass back on you so much, and it's like challenge. Like I want to, I want you to look at me. I want you to gauge my eyes, and mm-hmm. I'm gonna fuck you. Mm-hmm. But when you do service stuff, mm-hmm. like if I walk yeah. and a motherfucker's doing something like just simple Couple shit, taking out the trash, mm-hmm. you know, taking a, yeah, taking the garbage out, or washing a dish, okay. or something like that. It's something about <laughs> that. Just is so. like are you just gonna scrub that shit like that. Mm-hmm. Um, I never okay. yeah or the, the greaser mm. right <laughs> you're using the degreaser you're using the degreaser you want me to cook do that. oh you want me to cook mm-hmm. like it's something about let her cook acts of service <clears throat> acts of service for me will fucking send me you'll finish washing those dishes and you thought that you've been dealing with everything that's possibly oh you did all that washing and everything was wet your hands are dry it's time to get wet again mm. mm-hmm. 
I'm instantly mm-hmm. ready to fuck again. Mm-hmm. Like you gonna walk in and this leg is gonna be somewhere up here, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love acrobat. You see what she just did? <laughs> right With now. Ease. Somehow With the leg ease. is gonna be back there. All right, Jeff Hardy. T, do you have do you have a a wet? I would say when it could go on both sides, sexual and non-sexual. When you remember things that I say. Ooh. So Damn. if I say, you know, I want to try, <laughs> like if I say something specific that I want to try, and then all of a sudden you're presenting it right there. Mm-hmm. Or if I say I like something a certain way, and then you do that for me. It's like, oh, you're paying attention. You're listening, right? Being list- like being listened to and being heard. Right. And again, it goes back to acts of service, service. right? Because you're mindful and you're intentional. I'm an intentional Executing person. based on what you have Yeah, heard. I'm an yeah. intentional person. So when I'm giving that, yeah. That and you get it back. Way. Yeah. Oh. I, I love it. Okay, yeah. I can fuck We got that. How much minutes she said was left? Okay. We actually have <coughs> 10 minutes left. Okay. 11. I don't uh, think I've been this hot left. on this set before. I apologize, baby. We're about to get up out of here. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Not um, even like the heat in the room, cool. just the heat of the I conversation. Was having, <laughs> I was having uh, sex with somebody. Uh, and eons ago i wouldn't even lie to y'all <laughs> i'm not even gonna lie to y'all but um as a matter of fact i was telling y'all the box was tight she had her sex in a while mm. so i loosened up with the vibrator i used a fair amount of lube but i also spoke i talked to her crazy oh talked her into it you know what i'm saying i was in her <laughs> ear i was in her ear so while I'm hitting her with the vibrator, I got her around the neck and I'm Ooh. talking to her. I'm, I got, I'm choking her around the neck and I'm talking to her. Let it, let, yeah, see, let it go. See, it got you let, see it what it you go. Said. let it go. And I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I start slapping her. The pussy on her face. I start slapping her face. I said, let like it out. Because she's like, hmm, when they hmm, start hmm. I said, scream. Let that energy out. Let oh, it out. Oh, God. Let it out. Mm-hmm. And she uh-huh. started, ah, ah. I want to be her. You know I want to be her. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I realized, like, yo, you got to. Mm-hmm. First, you talk that energy Coach me into through them. it. Mm-hmm. Give me permission. Speak out. Give you freedom to be yourself. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Man, she and when you tell into me to do animal, it. Bro. She turned into a fucking animal in there. But one of the things that I will say is not using my dick is still one of the dopest things that mm. I've learned how to do. My dick is always there, especially since I lost the vape. Don't call it a back. comeback. But, I've been here for years. But the fact that I am entirely a mm-hmm. sexual being, entirely, it's not just limited to right here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's the thing that people tend to forget. Yeah. Yes. Like, you know, even in the BDSM space, there are some people like, well, sex isn't involved. Then how do you do anything? How does because it work? Because you can transmute sexual the energy. Whole, yeah. yeah. And to be able to freely speak about what it is you want, what you desire, what you're willing to do, what you're not willing to do. Yeah. And then to be able to just navigate that space freely. Because I've made pussy squirt by talking to it. By breath work, by mm-hmm. telling you when you could breathe and when you mm-hmm. can't. It's paying attention to a whole yeah, entire body. Absolutely. It's- let me yeah. let let's get to the soft. Unfortunately, we were on a high. <laughs> but I like for us to focus on the low. It's almost like I don't <clears throat> Okay. Like, Do mm-hmm. 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 All right, fine, I'll come down. Well the thing is is that <laughs> As much as we congratulate and we give tips on what to do, mm-hmm. we should be also pay attention to the things that we shouldn't. Do. Right. Right? The things that we don't like in the bedroom. The things that make us soft slash dry. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Anybody? Yeah, I'll start. Um, so pretty much this might I don't this might have never happened to nobody but me. But um I was having sex with a um with a young lady eons ago. And um she <laughs> had, I was gonna say hit the button. <laughs> she had um she lived in the projects, right? So if any of y'all, I know all, a lot of our listeners are not from New York City, but if you're from New York City, you will understand that project heat in the winter is unlike nothing you've ever seen before. <laughs> like it's no, it's, it's no, it's literally like it's, it's almost like it's almost yeah, like they're trying to get you out the crib. Like yeah. it's almost like you. No, we don't want you in here. We're gonna smoke them out. The windows open. Oh, so right, so all right, boom. Yeah. So so yeah. that's what happened. It was so hot in there. She wanted to like crack the window, and I was like, "Yo, I ain't gonna hold you." Like, you know, I just came from outside and now we inside and it's hot. It was just cold out there. You opening up the window, that might, you know, fuck me up a little bit. And I said that and 
she opened the window anyway. Mm-hmm. And um, I kind of just felt like, yo, this is your home. This is your space. You feel me? Like, I get like you are, you know, I get you want to be comfortable in your space. But yo, if I'm a guest, you know, shouldn't you not want to like hold your guest to like that standard to like, you know, make them want to feel comfortable in your crib? So I ain't going to hold you. We had sex and I got sick. I did that like right after we done. I knew I was sick. I'm like, mm-hmm. oh shit! My, I sound like yo, my my nose is congested mm-hmm. in the third. Blah 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 blah. <laughs> but Damn. yeah, you but, <laughs> but you, you 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 talked yourself into a cold. You I knew. Oh no, 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 no. I knew, nah, 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 yeah, I, knew I knew it was coming. I knew I feel it was like coming. you did on some petty shit because you were cancer. I got sick on purpose. <laughs> you know what? I'm getting sick just because she she did that. Just because I, she kept yo, if I get yo, if I get sick on demand, that'd have been lit. You feel me? But I say, but I say that to say. My soul for it, she didn't necessarily set the environment for me to become like for me to perform mm-hmm. at my peak sexuality. Okay, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like you gotta listen. Sex it takes two to tango. It's not just you here. Yeah. You know what I mean? We could have came to a car. We could have got a fan. You know we could have compromised on something. But you just thought about you, and you had the window open, and that was selfish. probably one of my more uh, not so. I could have mm-hmm. ripped that page out of my book. Mm. I ain't really like that. You ain't really set the tone for me. You know, like I, this is your space. Is I should same, walk in. Is that the same with women coming to your crib? Lighting candles, music, having food, romaine lettuce, cherry tomatoes on the plate, making sure that you plate shit the right you way. Do this? Yeah. Make sure that mm-hmm. I do shit the right way so that when she she's like, yo, this nigga's taking care of me. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? This, nigga, this nigga deserves Real a shit. dick sucking. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? You know, you know what? Yo, even yo, even beyond that, like yo, Setting like we cause we, we we set tones. You feel like mm-hmm. I'm gonna prepare for you, nigga. I'm gonna take the wine glass wet it and put it in the freezer so I give you wine with no ice and it's still chill. Look at this nigga. I'm gonna do that. You know what I'm saying? Like you ain't never do that. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm gonna do that. But my whole thing is if I'm gonna Shout do that for you, you yeah. at least just close the window for me, bitch. <laughs> just close the fucking window. My nigga, that's all I'm asking you. But yeah, set that tone. It's not just a woman thing, it's not just have a you ever thing. T- have you ever turned off that the fan so her pussy don't get dry? Because you be right. hot as shit. I know you be hot. You sweat a lot. I do. I do. You'll, you'll suffer because you're asking her to suffer for you. Would you girl, do that shit for her? Hey, I love sweating though, bro. That's me. Like I know like when I'm in the game, when I'm in this, I be feel like Kevin Garnett at halftime. Like I don't give a fuck. I'm in what? this. You feel me? Like I be okay, sweating, what? bro. <laughs> Okay. I be sweating, now. my nigga. Like I know, like I, when that I'm sweating, I'm putting the most work. disgusting thing you've ever said. In this I don't show. give a fuck. I mean, look, nigga, because I'm black. Women nigga, don't like a nigga just sweating. My nigga, all over see, it's different when you sex and you sweat. I'm black. I'm shiny. The light is on like a fucking god, nigga. You crazy? That should be, be glistening, little, nigga. Though. What? You can see your reflection like off my get, back, nigga. You crazy? I like when it's heat. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna clean you up after. Yeah, yeah. I kind of yeah. like it because it's like you know I know you putting in work, and something about that makes me want to match that energy. Make sure that I'm always Take doing care. my part yeah. too. And then afterwards, like you fuck me like that, you sweating. I'm definitely coming and cleaning you down. You don't after. mind if niggas sweating and sweat is like dripping in your eyeballs. I don't do that. Like that. That I don't do. I always well, wipe my what? face. I wipe my face. I, if I you see that it's building yeah, up, my like towel that, right there. I'm gonna do some sexy shit. Like I'm gonna be awesome. You be thinking she whole like, oh, you like that? Nah, nigga, that's salty. No, nigga, you super. I'm gonna be like, you sound like, oh, you working. Yeah. See, it's not what you do. Like, oh, you like that? No, like, no, nigga, you perspiring. Yes. We so a hito oh, jumped man. in and he was like, "Yo, is that butter sweet? Yeah, is that he bitter? said that bitter sweet tea. He spotted you. Bitter sweet tea. Yeah. Saint Joe ass. Yeah, I saw that. I was like, oh. Yeah. Yo, <laughs> like, who caught me? Knowing. He don't sure. be knowing. Um, do you guys uh, have a soft things that you generally just don't like? Don't like in the bedroom things that make you soft. I think I'm gonna go to the space of consent. Mm. Ooh. Okay. If okay. there's something that you know I've explicitly said this is not something that I like and you or push. that this is not okay and you still push, it's a no go for me because you need to respect my boundaries just as I would respect yours. Like you trying so. to put some in your butt. It could keep be. trying to it put some in your butt. You say you ain't into yeah, it. Yeah, like that's keep no. trying to do it. Exactly. There's a problem. Yeah. And you know Everything I'm gonna keep it red done. I'm gonna even keep it a hundred. You know yeah. what I'm saying? One, like, if she says she don't like something, she don't like something, and you should leave it at that. But even if you do want to revisit that, don't revisit that while we having sex. Mm-hmm. Like, let's have, like, if you want to have a post-sex conversation and you want to bring up, hey, you know what I would really like? Mm-hmm. That, okay, maybe we could do that. But during the act, don't make it awkward. Don't make it weird, bro. Fire, man. Don't, don't do fire. that, T. I, I don't respect do that. It. I respect it. Yeah. Mr. Enchantress. Well, for me... Because I'm someone who's often sexualized, and I'm okay don't with say. that. Don't say. Big song. 
You're I'm okay with that. You don't I'm okay say with that. <laughs> but if you're my partner, you're somebody who I allow close enough to me, I need you to be the person that recognizes that there's mm. more to me than that. Mm. And so if you ignore, you outright ignore, you can tell that my energy is different. You can tell that something's going on with me mm-hmm. and you don't respond to that. Even if you don't have a solution, even if you can't fix it, you don't respond to the fact that something's different today. She's not Mm -hmm. her normal self. That can be an immediate thing that kind of throws me. If you're not observant. Yeah, because Mm -hmm. here's the thing. Like, I do carry a lot. Mm -hmm. And not only my own shit, but other people's stuff. Because a lot of people bring to me some of their most vulnerable, like, not just DMs, but clients. They're coming to me with some real traumatic shit. And sometimes there's this transitional period for when I hear those things that I need to separate it from my personal life. But outside of that, I clock out of that. I go into motherhood. I'm the kind of person who, look, only thing I don't do on a housewife side is clean, but I make sure that somebody cleans. But I'm the woman who will cook. I'm the woman who will do the work. I'm the woman who's going to smile and show the kids the same love no matter what. And at the end of that day, if you don't recognize that today has been more challenging for me than the other days, and you just kind of expect me to still show up as this sexual yeah. deviant, that mm-hmm. you don't do anything to transition me, mm-hmm. that right there will instantly put Shots me out of number. I'd rather play with my pussy by myself, mm-hmm. right? But if you do something like, set, like for example, you notice it's been a hard day, and so run you run Jesus. my bath. Jesus. Because, you, you know, mm-hmm. girl, you know me too that? well. So pretty much, if a nigga can't say that the vibe is off, and do can, something to help yeah. my mindset get to where you might want it to be. That right there will immediately eliminate my body from responding to you. And you know, I will. Oh, and I was gonna say, sometimes people might struggle with help you transition. At least initiate the conversation. Yo, I ain't gonna front. Shit seem a little off. What could I do to help? But you know, you know I'm saying? so, I don't want you to work hard. I call mm-hmm. my class the headmaster's playbook because what happens if you got the other team's playbook, then you know what mm-hmm. they're going to do. You know how to prepare. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to leave you guessing, right? She just said it. She, I, we ain't fucking, but she, even she just said, set her bath mm-hmm. because anybody who knows me knows Man. that taking a bath resets me. It's my space. Or have the right music playing. Right, because I like to dance, I like to move. So you can put the right music in that helps me transition. But if you ain't paying enough attention to know Mm -hmm. two of the simplest things to help me switch from mommy mode, businesswoman mode, working woman mode to, you know, your woman mode or you know whatever, whatever, my pussy's not gonna respond to you the same way. I will say this, and I think this is just gonna be my addition to the soft because we have to end the show. I want to know if there's a difference. Maybe it's just a daily thing. Maybe it's this how you feel today, this how you feel t- t- uh, the other day, right? Mm-hmm. Is there a difference between the woman, like say I get home from work at eight in the morning. Uh-huh. The woman that's up at seven and she's making breakfast, she has made the bed. So when you walk in, she's just like, yo, here, I made breakfast for you, it's ready. Or the woman that expects you to bring food home for her to eat to eat. Is there a difference? I don't know. Because like I said, it could be a daily thing. It could be it like, yo, some on days day. you want, right? It could yeah. be. It's about both of you being mindful of each other's <coughs> space and helping to balance it. Mm-hmm. There's yeah. no such thing as 50-50. There are going to be days that you feel more yourself than I do. Mm-hmm. It's recognizing when we are that way and making sure that no matter what, both of us are good. Because yeah. we both take care of so much. So there might be a day, like like how I said, I came home from a weekend long of knowing that I'm back to back to back to back working. So when I walk into that home, what do they say? Let's create the environment for her to relax. Mm-hmm. That will switch. Sometimes you're coming to me after I know you had a longer week, after you whatever, mm-hmm. whatever. So my mindset is, I'm, if we're both proactively thinking about how to help the other decompress, yeah. everybody's good. It's when you are just sitting around waiting and expecting someone else to do it. All the time. All the time. All the time. Mm. Yeah. All self- the time. It's selfish. And that's, you know what? I, I got to bring it back to this t-shirt. That's what the service mm. part is about. For the love of service. Right? Mm-hmm. For the love of service. service. For, the, for the act of taking care of another because you're doing something that will actively make their life easier. Yeah. This has been a lovely episode. Um, yeah. I saved, well, I saved three minutes. We were past that. <laughs> but I, I have two people who I believe have the, the, the gems. You guys have the tools uh, to help people in the relationships. If there was one thing 
that you could tell somebody to do sexually in the bedroom that would enhance the vibe one thing it, it can be a move it can be a sentence it could be a thought process just give us a tip just a tip they looking at each other like well oh, y'all okay. already know how i feel about the pleasure mapping thing but i feel like invite them to observe you mm. right sometimes we have expectations for people when we haven't given them an opportunity to learn Right, it's like a, if someone comes to clean my house, I gotta first show them how I like things to be. I like my shower curtain this way. I like my bed made this way, so that you're not setting them up for failure. Same thing goes in a bedroom, right? Give them the tools. So I'm very big, and it's a big confidence builder. I'm very big on letting my partner watch me please myself. I'm very big on watching my partner please themselves because I know I can learn, and I'm and and that gives you a place to start from especially if it's a partner who you've not been deeply intimate with right you know how you like to be pleased i know how i like to be pleased and things that i'm curious about i'll say to you all i've never experienced this but i want to explore it with you so i would take the time to observe mm -hmm. and not come to the table focused on getting what you want out of the ordeal learn them mm, is mm, my tip mm -hmm. now t i know oh, I and you. i'm sorry and nobody is a one size fits all i know we have those fake Ooh, ass one child. size fits all. Yeah. everybody comes to this this mindset of i know what i'm doing or you know i did this this way and i know listen nobody's the same i i'll tell you this as a sexologist who've been in this industry for 10 years 11 years now I am a student every fucking time. Girl, go ahead. Mm -hmm. You sure? Yeah, of course. That's you it. ask questions and you pay attention. I want to know. You know, I want to know from you because even what I learned about you five years ago could change. Might could be. change. I always want to know what's new for you. You ask questions and you pay attention. Yeah. So be a student. I will say this. Mm -hmm. uh, God damn it. Did I forget? What were you saying? <laughs> Cause I had something to add, but goddamn, it was it, about it. it was about observing playing each other, yourself, about playing with yourself, watching each other, and then I spoke on, you know, obviously being a student. But. I, I, whatever I needed to say, it was just an add-on to what you had to say. Um, but it's always a pleasure to have you here. You just know the things. You just know how to talk to us. You know how to communicate to me. I love y'all. You know what I'm saying? And, yes, you know, I wish that the us men knew how to communicate with ourselves in order to communicate with our partners. I wish that we, we really spent, we, we had the courage, right? Like, we've been beaten down by homophobia. We've been beaten down by white supremacy. We've been beaten down by a lot of shit to say, make us say that we had to be a certain way. We, we almost got to be the bull, mm. which is very damaging to being an emotional or... or, or just a really good partner to your wife because you, mm -hmm. you have to be able to open up bro yeah. pause sorry you always so, have you have to you, you have always to have permission in my presence and mm -hmm. if i'm gonna say this to you because you're such a little smart shit about me not calling you oh, that yeah. if you ever needed truth. that you you know you can always call me and the same goes for you and that is what this 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 mm -hmm. pod this show is about it's about giving men the tools to open up to communicate, to learn, to, to, to learn the power and listening mm -hmm. and touch and sensuality and accepting pleasure and giving pleasure and not just making it about ourselves. But you know, these are things that we, we go through with, yeah. you know, growing pains and I'm, I'm almost 50 years old. So I've learned things as I go. I see Loon changing. If you guys have watched from when he came on this show to where he is now, this man is a lot of growth, <laughs> evolved. a lot of growth. Yeah. Um, we will be doing a live show December 2nd. And we'll, and <laughs> <laughs> like catch wow. that. Catch that. Just want to make sure they number two. Is we are giving our listeners agency. We're saying, hey, if you have a tool, if you have a skill, shout us out. Let us know. We might be able to carve out some time for you to ex show your skill set. And, you know, just join the thing. This is an exhibition. This is a celebration. So hit me up at the hard or short, blah, 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 the hard or soft show dot com. You can go to the contact, send us emails, send us suggestions, send us requests. Let us know if you want to be involved with the uh, hard or soft show. 
Kasha, I would hope. I would, ooh, sorry, the enchantress. I would hope that you would be at our live show. But you, you only have to ever give me a date, time, and location. <laughs> I'm always here she, for y'all. She does. Show but me what I know yeah. she will be at is the Limitless Jaunt. The Lux Jaunt. The Lux Jaunt, yeah. which is our excursion out to DR mm -hmm. Temptations with Limitless Lux Lifestyle. Lux. And I'm telling you right now, that shit is going to be sick. I am not selling nothing. Or I'm going to be posting videos from the past things that I've done at Temptation. <laughs> I'm going to show y'all what it's like for real, for real. This is not no joke, bro. This shit is real deal. Right? Y'all remember when I took the mushrooms out there? I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the mushrooms to you all. Shut up. I didn't say anything. I was just going to add on to what you were saying. Go ahead. Also, Tahoe's leaving out a very important part. So since he's not going to emphasize it, I will. We currently have 100% of tickets, but you do know this is the hardest soft show. This is our first live show in a gazillion years. Mm -hmm. Them shits will sell out sell very out. quickly. Mm -hmm. Please do not drag your feet. Mm -hmm. We provide you guys with the date, time, and location. Mm -hmm. Get the tickets as soon as possible. Please don't fuck around because these the capacity is very limited. The capacity and, is limited. And once we fill, we cannot really make any exceptions by law. So please mm -hmm. don't drag your feet. Mm -hmm. Get those tickets right now. And if I may, I could add to that too. Don't wait for the trip. It's February 1st to the 5th. Don't wait right. until January. Put down your deposit. Because we only get 20, we have 20 yeah. people blocks. We're not going to, we can't open up a new one if the shit doesn't look good. So we, we will sell that shit out. Am yeah. I right? Correct. Yeah. We will stop. There's one room type that's already right. sold out. So. Right, there's yeah. one room type that's already sold out, and I'm trying to get that motherfucking room. <laughs> I'm gonna have to call them myself because I have my own deal with temptations. I'm gonna, like, listen here, nigga. You know what? I'll tell you this. We I'm excited to bring. I got think I got two classes. I'm supposed to do. Uh, yes, yeah. we're teaching two classes. Yeah. Well, she signed me up. She know how to get me to do shit. I know. You know she called me with that. They call her bittersweet tea. Mm -hmm. She know how to call me with that sweet tea mm -hmm. when she want me to do something. Mm -hmm. But I'm excited to do a sensual <laughs> session. Yes, yes. And things like that to help you tap into that sensual side of you, and right? And that's gonna be something that I'm gonna make sure is co-ed friendly. But I'm definitely. Mm -hmm. I ain't giving you so much fucking come but when you right, <laughs> right unintended right right let me explain let me explain something and i'm gonna i'm gonna leave it this i'm gonna end with this the enchantress hosted my birthday event <laughs> i'm sorry can i say that yes sir you can anything i you want. have done a lot of parties i've done a lot of play parties it's never been that was wild. What, what she did what she did was it, it changed the room and it was consistent. It had she had there. rules throughout the night. She had things throughout the night and she knew how to do it. Girl. I love you. Yeah. That's why we got her. You know what you're doing. Um, y'all know what to do and y'all know where we at. The hard or soft show dot com. Mm -hmm. Hit us up on YouTube. We have a new YouTube. Y'all know that. Go log in, subscribe. You know what I'm saying? To our new YouTube. And you can follow T at what? Uh, www.limitless.lux with an E and on Instagram, FetLife, Twitter, and Facebook, it's uh, Limitless Lux LS. Now, when you go to www.limitless.lux, you can, it's dot lux dot what? It's dot lux. Dot lux. Yeah, we have a lux Don't domain. forget to use the hard or soft show as your affiliate link, you know what I'm saying, to get the free things and things of that nature. Make sure you check your emails because everyone that will be on mm -hmm. your list, you will get an email. You want to add us, um, vetting.limitlesslux. Like you'll get all the information, mm -hmm. right? But make sure you add us to your whitelist so it doesn't go to your spam. Right. You want to make sure that you get right. those emails because the emails only go to those who are on that list okay. as well, too. Okay. And again, so, too, don't you know. make the listen. We're emphasizing this again. Please make sure you click on the hardest soft option. Yes. Don't pay. Yo, you bitch more. ass nigga. What? We did the community call, and it was a fucking lady in there lusting for you. Crazy. But why gotta be a bitch ass nigga? Because why didn't you wake up? You were asleep. I was asleep. Join the community call. Yes. This woman was lusting. I didn't even know there's women out there that lust for loon. Oh. <laughs> lusting, like openly lusting. Where is he? <laughs> oh I just love God. him, his personality, his skin. You missed, you I'm missed like, ah, uh, this is gay. 
Why the fuck would they not lust for me? I'm the ambiance. Openly. Gotta show up at them now. She she loved you. Shout out to her. Respond to your DMs. Ladies, if you love Loon, please God. send me a listener letter. Tell me how much you love Loon. <laughs> but first, are you where can we find you, Christ. Christ? Well, you know, with the Heart of Self community, there's you know. a standing invitation. Right. So I always tell y'all, y'all know y'all can text me directly, hard or soft, mm-hmm. to my phone number, 347-657-6575. You can text the word hard, you can text the word soft, or you can text hard or soft. Mm-hmm. And it will directly connect with, connect you to me any way you want to connect with me, whether it's via the text, my website, my Instagram, whatever. And I also keep a standing promotional discount code for this community. Mm-hmm. So if you use hard or soft on my website, you will always get a discount off of your purchase of my adult products That's and right. things like that. Because, now she yeah. is a representative of candy. Bedroom, bedroom candy. candy. Bedroom candy. Yeah. That is, yeah, yeah, if y'all know who that is, then y'all know who it but is. I'm not, I'm not trying to be, but I'm a humble bitch, but I'm the director. She is the director. Of training and development for bedroom candy boutique parties. Yeah, talk your shit then. Right. Mm. But yeah, I always, I always, I always, you know, I got the shit to make the, the girls and the guys go, wow. Yeah, Loon, look, they, they're in the chat. They're saying they said she was going, was going in. in. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shorty was really she on your body. Shout out to now, you. these are things that, you know, obviously, if you aren't a part of the Patreon, you don't know. We do. Loon did his dick yelp recently. <laughs> uh, we have our mm-hmm. Heart of Soft Roars that go back. Matter of fact, tomorrow I'm probably going to upload a ro- Oh. I upload the story tomorrow. The bad one? Yeah, the bad threesome. I upload that tomorrow. Oh, What's today? Yeah, Wednesday? Bad Today's Wednesday. Oh. I've had a lot of a nice, a, a decent amount of good threesomes. That one was but a I had bad one. one. That was. Yeah. I gave her shoes and she's never took it before. I gave her three grams. All right, just chill. Okay, anyway. We're going to talk about this. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> like, this gonna be all, yeah all right. This is the hard or soft show. As it say? What is it? Show. All right, we're making it awkward now. Oh. All right. All right. <laughs> Sorry. When you say freaky, what, what's, what's freaky? What you, what you mean by freaky? All right, if I do this, you're not going to tell your friends, right? 